I'm just saying it's not like it's mainly. I mean, while it is illegal, it's mainly just frowned upon. You probably shouldn't punch babies, Marty. Mm. Fuck them. Yeah, on God, you just shouldn't, fu- definitely shouldn't fuck them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus, fuck all the babies. Fucking twenty seconds in, I gotta fucking cut. Nobody's what we said. got any mercy for a baby. I don't fucker. mean fuck them. We just started. Let's just we start. Just started. Actually, I mean, fuck them. Like, just I don't even think Dahmer would have been cool no with way. that, man. No way. We just started. Like, like, <laughs> I don't even think Dahmer would have fucked a baby. It's more of a Bundy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Bun. This is like a Doc After Dark episode already. <laughs> Doc yeah. After Dark. Let's get in there. Doc After Dark. <laughs> Dude, I could fucking talk about aliens for the next like two hours for That's sure. That's thing though. Um, yeah, but I mean, even more so in the last few weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah. I heard about that Why? conference. Well, yeah, there was a huge like, okay, hold, before, let's wait, hold on. Let's get ple- pleasantries out of the way. Hello and welcome to the Doc, part of the Camera Chaos Network. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, Fred Stewart, and with me as always, my other lovely co-host. Yellow. Yellow, it's Marty. Jetto. And then on the on running cameras and sound are the lovely co-host with bears uh, breastfeeding in the background. Mm. Yes. Yeah, no, I feel like I feel like I'm at MFA practice. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the band sucking your creative uh, juice out of you. Yeah. And we also have a few guests. We got the uh <laughs> The former drummer, drummer of uh, the MFA, David, current drummer of Magdalene and Purification. What's your other bands? Uh, I'm in a band called Grieven and a band called Leather Bitch. Okay. Leather, Leather Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> and then also here we have Tony. Mr. Tony. Mr. Labadee, Tony. Yeah. I'm in a band called Head the Hive. Fuck yeah. And kind of doing my own thing too. That's tight. What kind of music you guys play? Uh, rock and roll. I don't know. Hard, hard it's a sexy genre. Rock. Shit that girls take their clothes off yeah, too. I'll see them That's what I Hell yeah. I'll take your I'll take my clothes off. Oh, chicks off love head the hive. They do. I mean, I just met you and I just wanted to take my clothes off. So I mean yeah. Well, you do that if regardless. If I had to have sex with a guy, it'd probably be Tony. That's yeah. Mm. Like if I had to suck a dick. You got a strong jawline, man. That's you know, uh, someone's told me that a, before. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just, like, you got a fucking cut. It's from all the years of, it's from all the years of doing this. <laughs> that's how you get your jawline going. The jaw's a fucking cut, bro. That's why like David and Tony have jawlines and me and Marty when we come we're just like <laughs> <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have that fucking that fucking angst when we come. It's just like a fucking just like we're just oozing. We, we're not we, shooting. We've, <laughs> we've done this before in the pod. Uh, at least, at least uh, me, Marty, and Charles have done it. But when you guys are when you guys nut, what's the what's the go to sound? What do you sound like when you come and you're alone? I don't think I'm. When, when, yeah, when you're alone, you when you're alone, not yeah. with a partner, when you're just straight up alone. Fucking hear you come. I'm, I'm just like the typical guy. I'm like, oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, fuck it. <laughs> I figured Dave's he would be like. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just fucking came. <laughs> uh, my, so daddy just came. Daddy just come at the So you come day. like a member from Motley Crue in the eighties. <laughs> daddy just come at the pond. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't make a sound. Yeah. yeah so maybe David. Be, David is like quiet. you're a sneaker come. Yeah, so, he does the sniffing thing. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Do you even give a little like? I just I just breathe in and you're like. <sighs> <laughs> yes, have just, you ever what have I done? No, I I just I just come and I instantly go down there and. <laughs> 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 have you ever, scratch and sniff. Have you ever came at the same time as huffing gasoline? Mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> Actually, no, that's awesome. I, my brains. I don't think my brain cells could handle that, man. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd die. I think I would just instantly die. Yeah. Okay, hold on, really quick. The other day, I was hanging out with my roommate, and she was telling me a story about. I can't remember the topic we were on, but it was something fucked up. Uh, this computer duster kid on this. Oh, uh, I love dust. And then, <laughs> but she went on to talk about. <laughs> I, I but he was he was. It corroded his insides because he was doing it up his ass. Oh, and then she, then she moves Damn. on to talk about how 
about the, she saw another one where this person was doing gasoline, and I thought we were still on the topic of rectal. Oh, rectal gas. Boofing. Colonic. And I was like, oh, I, I was really horrified. Because can you imagine, like, you'd, like, oh. like, put the nozzle of, like, a gasoline bottle in your butt yeah. and just try to, like, <laughs> and I was, so I thought that's what she was talking about, and I was just like, "Oh my god, that's horrific!" That's horrific. Well, I can't time, think of anything worse. Bro, that's just I a scrap know. DC villain, bro. So, <laughs> yeah. so when when we were on tour, <laughs> we have some. This uh, one time, Troy, we were airing up an air mattress, right? And then he puts the nozzle of the air mattress <laughs> inside his asshole. We Are pump it serious? up, and he farted so long. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he yeah, filled, filled himself up. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I can't imagine doing that. You can't? No. <laughs> I mean, because pushing air into your butt. Yeah. Anus. <laughs> can't feel good, man. No way. Maybe. Oh, maybe maybe it it's, does. you know, when you it have. It pushes the poopy up. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> it pushes the poopy up. But I mean, it's like the sweet relief, too, though. So it's like, uh, uh. And then when you shoot out, it takes shit that wasn't. Gonna, oh. That was like lodged, you know, because it's compacted. Because yeah. you're shooting the compacted. It's like, it's like an enema. Yeah, it's like a yeah. It's like a well, th so that's what got us on the conversation <laughs> of the topic was she was talking about an enema, <laughs> yeah. and then it got Keep to the that. topic Wait, of uh, gasoline uh, enema. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, it got to the top. Well, so thankfully, no one's, as far as I know, has tried to huff gas to their ass Not yet. Well, that, but I mean, can you imagine trying to do that? Because that, that's what I thought she was talking about, and I it was just it horrified me. Like I was actually fucked up. I was like, man, I'm gonna have bad dreams tonight. <laughs> I can't imagine like trying to fucking inhale gas. Well, in we actually have another special guest for the podcast. It's the guy who put gasoline up his ass. Want to come on in, <laughs> come get on in, in here, get real cozy. Uh, I used to be an ass gas fanatic. <laughs> <laughs> I gave that shit up 25 years ago, but I, now I smoke meth. <laughs> I think it would be cool to huff like some spray paint up your ass. So no. at least. When it comes out, it's <laughs> what like are you color talking color? about? I, 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 so, <laughs> no. What was that show back in the day on MTV where it would just basically kind of like uh, True Life? Pimp My Red? Uh, Taboo? Was it? <laughs> no, that's, that's not that was addiction. Addiction. My Strange Addiction. My Strange Addiction or something. Yeah. Oh, that was MTV. I don't think that was it. Yeah, no, not MTV, but yeah, that show was really dark. People like eat drywall or people who like eat that. hair. Yeah, and, eat yeah. hair. Yeah, the, well, the, it's kind of funny as you're talking about that because I just saw a video recently, but the guy who was on like one of the first couple seasons who went like semi-viral, actually went viral back in the day where he was in love with his car. Oh yeah, and yeah. he's still around oh. and he got a different car. Ooh, and he's like, I fucking love the curves. I love the way her seat too. And I was like, oh, oh man, fucking, bro, I could never, I could never be in the passenger seat, be fucking sticking everything, like just trying to like. Oh, let me just <laughs> put my finger in the fucking ashtray. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Turn on the fucking cigarette lighter thing. Oh, click, click, stick your finger. Click, click. click, click. I'm gonna yeah. stick my dick in there. Can you please stop <laughs> fucking your car and just take me to my destination? Imagine <laughs> if you was a Lyft driver. Sir, <laughs> sir, I just wanted your license registration. I don't need any of this. <laughs> <It> just like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck the exhaust. I'm gonna shift you to another gear. I didn't realize I ordered Uber XL. <laughs> That's why I always order Uber, Uber XL. Uber XL. <laughs> Dude, Uber X. We should we should actually start an Uber XL, but it's for people from my six hundred pound life. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Me and Tony are gonna start our own Uber company where you just get picked up. Yes. And and you get fuck. So you just literally get fucked. It's called, called the fucked. bang bus. Bro. It's like the bang bus meets yeah. Lyft. <laughs> it's called fake Fit. taxi. That's already a thing. I mean, I, I told cool. this man that he should become an adult film star. I really think he'd accept. I'm, oh, yeah. Like, I've been contemplating it, you know? I, mean, I think he'd be good at the it. The hours are good. Yeah, you got the jawline <laughs> for it. I got the cut jaw. Oh, but, yeah. but what about the SAG strike and all that? How are you going to deal with all that, that and was, the, uh, the writer that strikes? Looks like a Coke flake. Oh, no, it looks paint. like a Coke flake. It, it's it's paint off your nail. Oh yeah, I got paint all over me. <laughs> what do you mean? What, but if you did that though, like with the writer strike going on, it might be a little more difficult. I mean, there's no no writers for it now. You know, be like, do do you want? Fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah. Da no, that's all it needs to be. Daddy's here for. I just want to fucking get Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> we can't pay you, but we can give you Taco Bell points. I think you should be like a Grubhub driver, and then when you show up, you put your fuck on. You like yeah. Grub Nub. <laughs> Grub Nub is crazy, Grub bro. Yeah. <laughs> Door smash. Door. Ooh. Damn. Door smash. Great. Yeah. Great. Hey, copyright, you can, you copyright, can have copyright. Different channels. 
Yeah. You can have different channels. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah. like different apps too. You know, you know, if you order through Door uh, Smash or. Uh, and you can pick what you want. There's like <laughs> a menu page? of back things. page. Back page? Do they still do back page? Uh, definitely not. We'll have to hit up Eric. I think they like do stings <laughs> off back page now. Yeah, I'm sure like the police are just raiding people for back page. For page in it. Well, I mean, there's like the whole thing with the, uh, I mean, that's been happening a lot more recently. You see a lot is the rentahitman.com. No, fuck. People, people, people go on there and they're like, I need a hitman to kill my ex husband for $10,000. And the person's like, okay. okay. And the feds are like, Hey, stupid. Yeah. Hey, that like, was do, dumb. do you realize how fucking stupid you are? Because it, it was a dude who did it as a social study, and then he actually started getting people like wanting to do it. So he was like, Hey, feds, you want this? And they're like, <laughs> Yeah. And it's been around for over a decade. People are still like, You a hitman? And they're like, Yeah. So, it's fucking crazy. Tips for anybody out there that might be watching if you want somebody murdered, definitely don't go online to get it done. Yeah. Good old school, meet him at a coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a first date? <laughs> you know, go to a biker bar, you know, meet a Hell's Angel. Or... I mean, I think the coffee shop, no one will suspect that. Yeah, you, you gotta know? go somewhere. Yeah, they won't, you know. Well, Walmart. okay. So, speaking of like breaking the law and shit, like, so this week, you know how it is in Portland. Like every year you live here, your the chances of your vehicle being stolen goes up pretty exponentially. It's like we're like the new Detroit in that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not Detroit. I don't fucking know, but a carjacking type situation. Mm. Um. So at my work, someone has obviously been watching my office. And the other day I come in. I work for a catering company, and we have a couple work vehicles. Rub dub. No well, actual catering company. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I go into the office and all the keys are missing. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, I know where like the fucking spare keys are. I was like, oh, well, maybe like the keys, they're doing something. I don't know. I come back to the office and uh, I'm like talking to them. I'm like, you know, all the keys are missing. What the fuck's up with that? And then they were like, we, w we go out there and one of the cars is missing. Dude. And uh, so we, we, ha we have all the cars air potted. So we found the car. It, it took a while for the ping to update. But we, we found the vehicle that was missing. It was just abandoned. Yeah. And uh, we so we drove it back. But then the next day we were probably thinking to ourselves, oh, they probably figured out that the shit was all had AirPods. Maybe one of them had a phone and they were able to figure out that it was probably like a TikTok challenge or some shit. So well, that's what's Steal weird. A catering car. So we come. So we, <laughs> <laughs> so we so we come we come back the next day because they stole all the keys. And we were thinking to ourselves, okay, well, maybe they figured out all of them are tagged and they're not interested in stealing it. Well, they stole the van, the other van, and it's in Vancouver right now. Damn. Is it, did you find it? Is it like still I, moving? I would, I wish we could have done a mobile episode of, I'll get the pinged address and we'll go do a stakeout. Let's go find this and dude, we'll right? And we'll fuck with them. Bro. That would have been great. So something you probably don't know about, but uh, these guys do, is is um, Andrew, the the drummer of um, MFA. Like I, w I would say, about six months ago, he had his van stolen and it had a bunch of our equipment in it mm -hmm. out of his front yard. And uh, like his his wife got home, went to run inside and do something with the dogs real quick, but left the engine running. And mm -hmm. she was like literally five minutes when she came out, someone was backing out of her driveway. She goes and hops in front of them, and they fucking run her over Jesus. and take off. And then, like, a week later, we're scrolling through Offer Up, and we see one of the amps from uh, inside the van. Did y'all beat their ass? So, well... You should have. We wanted to, but um, Andrew was like, no, let, let me just call the cops that are handling the case. And so he called the cops. The cops hit us up and wanted us to go, like, pose as the buyers of the amp and set up, like, a sting. Brilliant. So we, like, had them, the cops, on the phone in our pockets. It was me and Andrew. And we, like, roll up to this dude's house. He's sitting on the stolen van with the amp. <laughs> and fucking <laughs> shameless. Idiots. Shameless. Yeah. And then, like, uh, we go up there. We're like, yeah, we're just, uh, it was the day when it snowed this last time. It snowed heavy. Mm. Yeah. It was just starting to melt. Uh, cause we were on a cul-de-sac, which was like dead end street. But the cops couldn't <coughs> get there, could they? No, they were there. They were like, we met them around the block and they told us everything they want us to do before. And they're like, we already got people set up there. You guys just need to go in, fucking act like you're the buyer. Uh, you know, just be normal. So we just went up there. I was asking if the amp worked and then the cops just fucking whoop, whoop, roll up and just hop out and they tackle him. He tried to take off running. They tackle him. What he a fucking up, idiot. He was wearing a ski mask. He ended up having a gun on him. 
When they took the mask off, he was a 16-year-old kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I mean, yeah. if shit gets... I don't know, man. Like, I'm glad that uh, I had parents that whooped my ass. <laughs> real. <laughs> For real. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm like the type of person where it's like... Where I come from, people will kill you over shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Try yeah, to come yeah. steal somebody's car or something. Like, people will and run fucking... run over their wife? And people will blow your brains out over that kind of shit and not think twice about it. Yeah. And, and cops really not give a fuck. Yeah. No. You know? But David, I, where are you from? I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. We don't have these problems. <laughs> David, uh... <laughs> I was so I was thinking as uh, I was driving today and I knew we were doing this podcast. I was just had it in my head. I was like, there was like a probably a two year period where. Oh, we, hold on. We were in the oh, MFA. Whoa, 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 hold on. <laughs> Slow it down, buddy. <laughs> and we were just probably like on our worst behavior possible. Okay. Like we were just fucking terrible people. Animals. Yeah. <laughs> Filthy. <laughs> Not like me and Tony. Yeah. Like, like Marty, not so much. Whoa. Not like animals. Me. But you, for sure, and Eric, for sure, were yeah. just like. So one time pops in my Whoa, head. Come on, slow it down. What do you mean slow? Slow it down. It down. <laughs> Is this one time okay to yeah, talk about? No, okay? I, I thought about it. I <laughs> okay. thought about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> we, we we we've cut shit before. Out. It's ha- it's so, fun. Yeah, yeah. So we went on a uh, tour. Uh, once and we went with, uh, no, the first time we went on tour, we went with Garn and Eric Anarchy. The second time we had Yule, and no, that was the first time. And then this, or no, yeah, you're correct. You're correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, So the second time we go on tour, we have Yule with us, and I remember the whole time thinking like, okay, we got Yule. Like David will be on his, will be like a good boy. No, no. We pull into Las Vegas, dude, and fucking. It was like sensory overload for David. Like, yeah. it was like as soon as we got there, we get to this bar uh, where we were playing, and there's like no one there. And they're like, You're playing at like one in the morning. Yeah. Like, holy shit. And they paid us right away. They paid us up front. They paid us nice. up front, and they gave us like, like 30 drink tickets. Yeah, like an infinite <laughs> amount of drunk. alcohol. Is so we the, just. Is that the same show that Porn Star was at? Yeah. Yeah. And Ron oh. was trying to. Uh, Ron was trying to incite some action with Ophelia Rain. I still remember her name. <laughs> Did you, you, you think after? I got the right. mm, fucking use my fucking ho ho? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I got that from. I, I had to see what she was all about uh, afterwards. You, you looked know? her up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Did, of course. You, did you do a she little jerking you know, to her? So he was so, he, he was like, you know, she came up to me and she was talking to me about my Suspiria shirt. I had no idea, no idea who she was. And yeah. She was nice. She was just a nice person. Does she want to do a scene with me? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to break in. She, break she did. In. She did give me a business card. I could maybe do some rummaging <laughs> yeah. through my trunk and maybe. Let's find get her on the pod. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Uh, Ophelia you Rain. Will, are you ready to be disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tony. Uh, Tony doesn't disappoint. This is the fucking jawline, dude. Yeah, that's it. That's all they want. No, what I was thinking though is when we were so we got we each got all we all got all these drinks and so we all like went and did a shot and then we walked to the strip and we're walking around so hot. David's like fucking just wiling out like he we're like going through like never uh, been to Vegas yeah so. never been to Vegas oh we we got and free out a free drunk what out happened, of it what happened to your beard though oh yeah I mean there's that. The, the bacon grease story, but that oh, wasn't yeah. the one I was going for. I was going for him, David. Fucking, we're like in like the Venetian or the fucking Bellagio. They have like m- marble floors, and David's just fucking skating across them, power sliding like. Yeah. And like, who has it on a uh, video? Yeah, and then, and, and and then you guys tried to climb up a statue. No, they did. Climb I was up a way statue. too. Why did y'all let me like do shit? But this is what happened. Is, is so you they climb, were gonna arrest me if I? They had love done that. that shit in Vegas. He, he's climbing. On They're all, used to it. He's I'm at sure. the Luxor climbing up all these statues and shit. Oh yeah, well, Dirigi took a picture of. Yeah, he's climbing on all these statues, and then there's a point where Yule turns to me and he goes, "Bro, Dave's getting out of control. You better, uh, <laughs> you better calm him down." And then in my head, I'm thinking, "Damn, I thought you were the one that had Dave in control." Right. <laughs> and at that moment, yeah. I realized they I was like, Dave "Oh go. man, this is not. I don't. This could be bad." I don't listen to anybody from Kentucky, dude. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> so, uh, and, but then we get back to the bar at like midnight and we're like, fuck, I can't believe it. it's going to be a and doozer. I'm sun exhausted, dude. Yeah. I'm yeah I mean, we're tired exhausted. and it was like the end of the tour too. Oh, so. I did cocaine in the bathroom with this mom. Yeah. She was a mother. <laughs> like laxative. What the fuck are we talking about? She what? Was like, she was literally like, this she was literally Vegas, like, You're my, ki- my kid's like two years younger than you. Yeah. Aww, and I just, she just coke. Fed, me, fed me some cocaine. I was A1. I took a diarrhea. Yeah. Threw up. Mm. Yeah. Boom. I also got, we and got that the- was the best show I feel like I played the whole. It was good. Tour. And there was like a ton uh, of sets, people there. It was a good, it was a good, pretty good. It was a good like yeah. uh, tour <laughs> ender. And that was, so that same night, that's when we stayed at Tom's house. Oh, yeah. And the jacking off thing came up. I like how nobody's talking about. Hold on, I did some coke, took a diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say something though. In the gnarly bathroom, say something. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I gotta say something. I'm a chronic masturbator. I, I have a healthy. <laughs> what the fuck. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I have a healthy sex life. I fuck all the time, or not all the time. But I fuck well enough. He fucks. I fuck all times. I he still. Fucks. I jerk off. Mm-hmm. And I really took that competition seriously, and I'm the only one, even Yule, he busted <laughs> in Tom's house. Yeah. I thought Yule would surely be able to go the whole time, because he's like a fucking saint, you know, he's a fucking stoic and shit. I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought, and he, he, bu- he broke it to me what's, later. What's the game here? Because <laughs> Don't jerk off the whole tour. Oh, man. No. And, and, uh, no, and uh, no. I did not. I don't that tour I did not jerk off the entire time. No, nope, not one. Damn. I'm no one. I won that part of the competition. That's why you should have jerked off in Vegas. I don't so you remember weren't jumping off on statues and shit. Yeah, you yeah. had all it that. It all makes sense now. It yeah. all makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. I was just kind of losing it. Yeah, we got to just pants up. If you take David on tour, make sure he jacks off. Oh, I mean, I've beat it off in Starbucks bathrooms on tour. <laughs> 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 I mean, anywhere, anywhere. In, I mean, I I jerk off. Well, I can't see that. Say it. Say it. <laughs> you, already, you already alluded okay. to it. This is a safe no, I place. Can't, I can't say it because, you know, I mean, I have jerked off at work before. Well, no, Troy, yeah. so have I. I. Who hasn't? You missed on a different uh, podcast, Troy was talking about how he once jerked off and he didn't realize, like, he was jerking off in the parking lot somewhere. His sister drove him and he was waiting forever. And then, as oh, his please don't was, tell me she saw him jerking. No, off. as oh his sister God. was leaving, he realizes after he came, he realizes that they were at an abortion clinic. Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck, dude. dude! If okay, so <laughs> and he was like, I was wondering why all these sad girls were just. Wild. I would, oh my God. <laughs> I would, I would, I would stick a gun in my mouth. I really would. That's so sad. Yeah. Holy shit! Not the baby's dying part. <laughs> no, it's <killing> more. <laughs> Just the fact that I have a my my addiction is so chronic. My addiction is so chronic that I'm here at an abortion clinic, unbeknownst to me, with my baby's sister, and I'm jerking off. <laughs> that in itself is a brain fuck. I Why think, was he jerking off? There? I think he was a he was younger. He, he was, was like sixteen. Yeah. He was just an idiot. Uh, yeah. Was it his older sister? I, yeah, I, think it's, I think it is his older sister. I hope it yeah. was his older sister if he was 16. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I say I hope. But also, Tro- <laughs> Troy's like kind of country. Not so, like, that's, I feel fun. like that's, that's normal. Yeah. He, he lives like in Lebanon, Oregon. Oh, he's, he's okay. Like, past Salem. Like, in place, the, pl- place where they don't believe in abortion, right. probably. No, yeah. So it was. I think it was just kind of one of those things, and he was there. He just had to rip one out real yeah. quick. I mean, sometimes you have to rip. I one mean, out it real quick. really sometimes, is dude. crazy. So, it's, especially when you're 16, dude. some people oh, produce yeah. a lot of nut. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, I, endless, dude. I'm con- yeah, I'm convinced, struggles. I'm convinced that I. D- I think maybe stupid people are more potent with the shit. Yeah, yeah, that's why it there's a bunch out. of <laughs> humans yeah. on Earth. It's probably all the shit they feed us, you know. Yeah. yeah, all the smart people they only need to come like once every two days. I mean, probably like once every couple months. Like, yeah. I don't think the twins come that much. I can come like four times in a day. Oh, at least. Uh, right, see, I, 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 after, I, bare minimum. After three, I feel like I'm shooting blanks. It, Charles, <laughs> just keeps I, I got a question. My for fourth you guys. one's never very strong. Yeah. I got a question what? for you guys. So there's four separate things. There's jerking off, yeah. running miles, <laughs> eating donuts, mm. and drinking beers. Mm. You have to choose the number set so you get like six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. You got to s- match up what number, and you have to do it all within twenty-four hours. So you'd either have to jerk off six times, 
run 12 miles, drink 18 beers, eat 24 donuts, or like however you will, how would you guys do it? I would do it the, that, way, that way. That way? Yeah, I like that. I like that order. Jerk off six <laughs> times? Yeah, I could run do Run 12 miles? Uh, not the 12 miles part, it'd be really hard, but... So would you rather run? Well, I don't. I don't. Know. Would you rather run six <laughs> miles and then jerk off twelve times? Well, or would you jerk off twenty four times? And but see, the thing is, the twelve years? miles is really good for you. Yeah, yeah, but so, that's hard, dude. After eating that many donuts, I need to get those miles in. Are we jerking yeah, yeah. to completion? Yes, to completion. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I can. Are I, you just doing <laughs> six, well, six edges? After twelve right. miles, all, all, <laughs> edging. All I know is after twelve miles, I can't jerk myself. Yeah. Someone needs to jerk me. I can't. That's, well, that's when you're all like <laughs> fucking pumped up. I'm gonna jerk. I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna probably pee a couple times. Oh jeez. I mean, I, 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 my, my answer was simply jerk off the six times, do the twenty-four miles. 24 um, miles and then um, drink 18 beers and do 12 donuts pretty pretty so straightforward here's what I think I would probably eat well, no I'd probably run six miles because let's be honest I'm fat I don't like to run too much yeah I was there too um and then <laughs> I would probably maybe eat 12 donuts yeah and then I'd have I'd do that all within the first like Two hours, and then I'd have the rest of the day just to jerk off. Just jerk eat, off all and day. drink yeah. beer. Yeah, see, that's I yeah. feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. See, I think one you have to like the running. You have to run. You have to do the running, the least amount, and then you can just kind of sit there drinking beer, eating donuts, jerking off all together. Yeah. All together, and it's yeah. like bliss. Like, yeah, I'll, that, I'll put the donuts around great. my yeah. dick while I'm drinking a beer. I'll jerk it, and I'll come on the donuts and I'll like the donuts yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got my own icing. <laughs> Voodoo don't got shit on this. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, it's like that shit they talk about on Letter Kenny. You know where it's like the twenty, like the thirty-one days of Christmas, and each day of December you jerk off. Whatever number the day is, so it's <laughs> if it, if it's it's like thirty one. Yeah, so on cr- on Christmas Eve you got to jerk off uh, twenty four twenty four times, times, and then on Christmas Day you got to do twenty five jerk off. <laughs> that That's gnarly. After no one, jerking no off twenty four, <laughs> but then but then you got to think on Christmas you still got to like you know do the Christmas <laughs> thing and go see the family. Um, David, what's your record in a day? Oh, How no. many times have you completed that? I, I don't think I've ever jerked off more than seven times. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Hold on. On the topic of jerking good. off Eric and said shit, 12. So when I, I, I hope you're not mad at me about this, but so Yule has some experience with a friend who uh, we got to get Yule on here one day. Well, Yule probably won't do these two. No, we, we got we, Yule said he would do it. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yule's going to come so, up. So we were on the topic. He had a friend who actually did shoot porn. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Professionally, like shot it, and yeah. and and and. and Not a friend um, back home who did. That. You got to be careful. It's it the there's a lot of like actually. Did you know shooting porn porn in Portland is illegal? Really? Really? People shoot it in Portland anyways. I mean, yeah, it's still yeah. You just a lot of shit's illegal. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy because we're so liberal with yeah sex and shit shit yeah yeah i mean fuck it's practically illegal to just get jerked off but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways i don't know there's either. a lot of massage parlors mm-hmm. around portland. Yeah, no. yeah, anyways like wait you're wait you're shooting porn in portland but um yule was like you got to get my boy this shit that you just shoot down your cock that makes you shoot bigger loads mm-hmm. i didn't know that was a thing <laughs> Like it's That's the thing. Yeah. It's you sperm. Based what? yourself? It's all kinds of things. Base yourself I is no, crazy, I call it, bro. I call it sperm assistance. <laughs> sperm oh, assistance. I don't That's think worse. I need it. I shoot. <laughs> I like man. base I'm a yourself better. Yeah. I'm a shooter. I'm a fucking gun. You can shooter. still shoot, I'm a shooter. even though you jerk off all the time. I'm a shooter. I think Straight it makes up. more because your body's like. <laughs> <laughs> what, what make more? Everybody respects the shooter, dude. The one under the gun list forever. <laughs> so, so you're telling me people like cannon load themselves, dude? Yeah. Like they fucking they just cannon load the fuck dude. out of like. You pump, you pump some shit into your your unit. Yeah. <laughs> your G unit. And you blast off, baby. It's no different than shoving <laughs> air up your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> or huffing gas. <laughs> <your asshole. laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's all the same. Because that's fair. Tony, what was your uh, what was your number of in a day? How many have you? How many loads have you? Jesus, blowed. I, uh, probably. Yeah, probably about nine. Nine. <laughs> I could. I mean, <laughs> oh well, when God. I was younger, yeah. I could just jerk off all day. Just come. 
Just lots of cum. Like, like <laughs> you don't want to say four rolls of paper towels. Tony is probably the only person that I've ever known in my life with the sexual appetite. It's like of a panther. Fierce, dude. It's Bro. fierce. Rick, Rick said. Rick, like, Eric said it was almost, twelve. David, Eric said, Eric said 12. twelve. That's insane, dude. He said, brutal. He said, I but, woke up. I jerked off. I ate a bowl of cereal. I jerked off. <laughs> I watched some cartoons. I jerked off. Well, like your meat gets sore, you know. Like the yeah, meat, it does. And fucking, You're and probably. man, fucking. I have had some serious cock pain from fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's a tight. A, God damn, can't well, call it that anymore. I was gonna say, is that snatch? When just I used to so use tight that. That just, <laughs> when I used to use methamphetamines, I would jerk off till my dick almost bled. Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing I, ever I've came heard, out. But I've I just feel like that's, that's too, what yeah. that's what Andrew, Andrew said. said Andrew thing, said yeah. when he used to do meth, one time he jerked it for like yeah forty eight hours, hours, yeah. hours upon hours. You just that's can't insane. Stop. You get that meth dick, bro. Yeah, and then I'm jerking off, staring out the blinds, like fucking <laughs> here, man. I know they're here. And just like, can't stop. You're, like, you're like at that point, you're not even aware that you're jerking off. You're anymore. not. It's just like in your hand. You're just like <laughs> it's like it's like not even completely hard. It's just it like doesn't even feel good. The fucking Satellites, man, they're watching. Yeah, exactly. man. Fuck, fuck, man, I don't oh, know where's what else my to foil do. hat. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. And that's why you do see people like on the street just fucking like jerking off and being crazy. Yeah. It's because that's what they're doing. Yeah. No, Dude, people, yeah. I haven't. I don't think I've told the story on the pod yet of the lady that I saw in Southeast Portland. <laughs> no, I told Charles the story, but no okay. Damn. So I went and saw my my bunch of my homies play at Dante's in downtown, and. It was a really fun show. Had a fantastic time, and I go to leave, and I'm standing in the parking lot of Dante's, waiting for my <laughs> ride share because I had a couple drinks, and I'm responsible. Yeah, and as you should be, as I yeah. as I should be, and so I'm standing there. I'm like, I got to see all some of my friends that I haven't seen in years. It was a fantastic evening, and and uh, I'm just kind of waiting, and uh, I look over, and this lady is doing somersaults through the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And I'm yeah. like, that's, I fucking love Portland. You know, like, that, masturba- it's just, it's one of those fun, time. you know, like, crazy, like, oh, it's all they do doing somersaults. And I was like, that's pretty funny. So I'm watching her, and she's going across the parking lot. She basically gets to, like, the main street that's right there. Across from Voodoo Dunn. And um, mm-hmm. she fucking, she completes her roll where her, like, legs, like, she kicks her legs out and stops herself. And then immediately comes back up and kicks her legs up in the air. Simultaneously, she kicks her shoes off and she catches her shoes all in one motion. Comes up, kicks her shoes off, catches them, puts them right next to her head, and then just starts fucking blasting herself. Just <laughs> like just <laughs> hardcore, just, just like, fucking rolling the dude. Rolling and the, 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 the All this happened within a few seconds. <laughs> it, it was just like roll, 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 stop backwards. Shoes fucking gone. <laughs> And I was like, and did you ask her, like, hey, can I just join? No, dude. No, it was more so like, what am I watching? And so then I was like, like, where's the oh. camera? <laughs> well, I was like, maybe maybe she just has an itch. And then she kept, she was just kept going. And then, like, people were walking up across the street. And they're like, what the fuck is going on? Ugh. Did she squirt? I don't know. No, but I, I imagine <laughs> just when I see the bean getting flicked, I want to I right, imagine just that I, I, that gush coming out. Gushing, right? No, I was just I was just <laughs> laughing so hard, and then I was like, "Why is no one else <laughs> like got, seeing I, what's I happening?" A, I got a question for everybody here. Uh-huh. Uh, Go for it. It's okay. It's okay if you don't want to answer. Oh man, I don't mind. So. You know, oh, yeah. we've all watched. We all watch porn. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, who has? Um, I've seen it. I I've mean, not only me, but... experienced one squirter in my life. Mm. Mm. It, it, it's on the hook. I mean, it's piss. We all know that. I, <laughs> I mean, it's it, like you press on the bladder. It's not gush. It's. I mean, I just call it I, I had a one. <laughs> I had one sincere <laughs> squirt gush. in yeah. my whole life. Yeah. Once. Uno. Uno. It was special. I was seventeen. I mean, yeah. That shit. It kinda... Did it get in your hair? No. Luckily. God, my girl's gonna shoot me in the face when I get home. Well, she'll just know. She'll be like, "You were talking about fucking." <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> this, this episode I mean, this won't is come old out for fucking. Weeks. No, but she was her back. I was in the back of my mom's van. Did you date her? Did you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. See, yeah. Like I've, I've I dated was, a squirter. She, she was on top like this. Right. You know. It made me mad because it was like cool at first, I, I thought, and then the next couple I, times, like stop. My <laughs> thought. <laughs> my thought. My <laughs> all wet. I gotta my, do the so, sheets. Every my day. thought was. <laughs> my thought initially was, ah, oh, maybe some spit just sprayed out of her mouth. <laughs> maybe she just spit all over me. <laughs> she did just with a different. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, I've only, it's only ever happened once. I've seen it. It wasn't like, you know, like, pff, 
you know, uh, it's like it wasn't a gusher. It was just a little bit. Like a it was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it was like a water break in. I, like, well, I was so stupid and young. I was like, damn, did I just make her come really hard? <laughs> <laughs> I've had it happen a few times, and it always like like you were saying, it just like it's Sports. almost inconvenient because it ruins the sheet. It it's ruins what's it called? What's it called yeah, when yeah. that when you my you, thread you, count? What's it called? <laughs> yeah. What's it called? What's it called when you flex your mouth and you gleek. accidentally gleek. gleek? It was like a, it was like a gleek, but heavier. A heavy gleek. <laughs> it was a gle- she gleek like, down. She you know, gleek. like you pull she it out, part it's of like the a gleek water club. balloon burst oh. up in there. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck, my bed's a mess. God damn it, get I'm out of n- here. I need a tarp. I've never been, I need a tarp. I've never been <laughs> squirted on, but I have been farted on. <laughs> Ooh. Of course, Charlie, we know, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. It's it was, it's cause, I think it's because I'm a big guy. But and did, I, I go did with you, force. You, did you, you, laugh, you were spreading it really far. Yeah, you're just spreading and you're pressing down and... How did you feel though, Charlie? Did you did you laugh? How did you feel? Uh, I've never been farted or, on in or sex. Did you did you um like feel appalled? No, I didn't feel appalled. He, I, he thought was was like, a <laughs> I thought it was a queef. <laughs> I thought it was a queef. <laughs> I thought it was a queef. I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was a pussy fart. <laughs> but uh, I, then I realized uh, it didn't come out like on my like, like uh, on my fupa. It came out on my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I so it sounded like a Harley Davidson road glide going by. Like, I love I love I love being <laughs> queefed on. That's a I blessing love, in some countries. Like yeah, it's a good luck. Yeah. <laughs> That's like good luck. <laughs> yeah, it's like, good luck. It sound like fucking <laughs> like, like Huey's like, going over the like, jungle. Look, fucking. Did you say something like card? That's fertile. That's fertile. Balls. That's fertile air. Just blessing your cock. <laughs> <laughs> How long good luck? Is it like seven years? I'd be doing a lot better. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Nothing uh, wrong. Nothing wrong with. I mean, I, I think queefs are funny. Yeah, they're pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, farts are funny Any too. Fart sound, I can't yeah, be with. A, I funny. can't be with a girl who doesn't think farts and queefs are funny. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. They got to be funny, man. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. It's a good time getting queefed on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm lucky enough that my fiance just kind of deals with it because I'll wake up in the morning. She'll wake up, be like, "Oh, good morning." It's like, like hey, "Good morning," Arr! and then it just. <laughs> 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 oh, <dude. laughs> it's, like, it's like the fucking. If you play like Among Us, you know, become the imposter and it's just like that fucking dive. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, there's been times my girls like on her phone. And I fucking let one of my fucking stinky fucking Stan, oh, stink Stanley bombs. Steamer carpet cleaner. <laughs> yeah. One of those like fucking like. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh. You're like oh fuck. Oh fuck. I gotta go to the. So bathroom. and she'd be like on her phone and she'll just be like sitting there like acting normal, right? I spit on the mic a little bit. That's just fine. be acting normal. Because she's so many times, a thousand times, you know, like whatever. She's expecting it to smell bad and not care. Yeah. And then she just, just, it's like this. He hangs the blanket up while she's still looking at her phone and just like. <laughs> <laughs> and just repulsed. repulsed. And just doesn't say Charles. anything to me. Right, she holds that just, shit in. Just ignores it. Just, just, yep. just does this. And she'll stab Ma- and it later. I know it's really bad if I get a. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you silenced it. You silenced. Yeah. Hey oh, Charles. My my the, my worst ones. Are, it's true what they say. Silent but yeah, fucking oh, yeah. lethal. Oh yeah. yeah. Just yeah. those ones that like are like little sprays. Like. Yeah. Shiver, <laughs> These, shiver look, look, head up under the sound. blanket. If, if it was audible, this is what it would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Silent but Holocaust. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, oh, what the fuck? Ah, fuck my eyes! <laughs> I got David with some of those. Hey, Charles, oh, dude, wait, you, Marty. See, what, see, Charles, see if you can make David gag. Oh, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> please do. Please don't. I mean, all I have to do is tell stories. Just tell stories. <laughs> That's it's a pretty so good bit. On, it's so funny because we were on the last episode of The Doc. <laughs> so I had that soundboard of everyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I will throw up. You don't throw no. up. I'll just gag you. Gag. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just edging your yeah. your throw up, not but, your. Okay, I can handle the bacon grease we'll story. Put you to the edge. What about the pock pock story? Mm, the pock pock was so bad. What about <laughs> Eric's blankie? 
<laughs> that's just a different kind of level of disgusting. That's, <laughs> that's not even worthy of a we, we If were, you threw that shit, that would be like glass. You do just gag break. No, we smelled. Wait, David, I got. Uh, would, I'm glad he's doing better. Would you, I'm glad he's would not. you rather uh, spend the night in the Pock Pock room? Or would you rather drink tea made out of air? <laughs> Blanky bath water. <laughs> Dude, pop, pop, pop room. <laughs> pop, Give pop your room. face, bro. You just pop, pop. You know what's <laughs> gross is you could take any of our blankets, put them in water, heat it up, and it would just be like hot water. No, Eric's would you beat like, off in your blanket? What the fuck's wrong with you? You <laughs> fucking sick that, fucks. Animal? Eric, beat off in your underwear that you're about to wash. You fucking squirt <laughs> um, it right on the wall. That's what everybody else does. <laughs> I just stick my dick out the window. Yeah. I do piss out my window. Out the window. I, 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 okay, so I live on a second story. I've seen you piss out That's a window. I, I piss out, I'm so yeah. redneck. Dude, I'm so redneck. I piss out of windows. That is redneck shit. That's real. I saw you piss off so someone's disgusting. balcony. I just, when I have to pee in the middle of the night and I don't feel like going all the way to the bathroom, which is right past my door. You pee out the window. I open the door and just go to the bathroom. I could do that. Fuck no. Oh, so my girl far. looked at me one time. She's like, you're such a fucking redneck. <laughs> fucking animal. I can't believe you fucking don't piss out the window. <laughs> on me. We don't have any screens. We don't have screens. Do it's an old house. Did you ever pee on your girlfriend? No. Yeah. If, she, if she asked, would, would, would you? you? I'd yeah, let her pee on you? me you if she wanted to. <laughs> okay, that's not what I asked. Bria, if, you're watching, if you're watching this, you could. Then you don't I'd even have to get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> just, just pee right there. No, I, I gotta sleep there though. Just fucking babe, wake up, babe, wake up. <laughs> I gotta fucking piss. I gotta piss. I've never done anything with pee. Yeah. Other than be pissed on. Have you guys ever shit the bed? No. I have. Mm, I have alcohol. Well when I was a baby, I probably No, I mean well, yeah. I mean like I was like have a you ever adult. shit your pants behind a dumpster? I <laughs> But I have, I have. <laughs> Admittedly, I have shit myself. So behind a dumpster, behind a dumpster on acid. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I know. That's shameful. That was awesome. It's shameful. I mean, I was That's really. Awesome. In all fairness, I had drank enough to kill a rhino. Yeah. Well, you drank enough to like you drank with like a six foot Viking. So and he was like literally the side of a line back. Like a seven foot. We Viking. didn't. I didn't eat. I went over to the studio. We took LSD all day. And drank beer, mm, yeah. and then went to a show and drank more. Yeah, Maybe. and did more LSD, I believe. It was and in a bottle. Weird yeah. shitting on acid. It's a weird feeling. There was nothing that really came out. And so. then David was Strange. on the. I, it was like the shit, the shit, because I hadn't eaten anything. It was like this. It was, a little it was like a little fucking shit worm. David was on <laughs> yeah. the car ride home, and uh, he was just in the back seat going. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. Noise. My my fiance will probably hate this story, but the um the second ever time she took mushrooms, uh, well, actually all time she's taken mushrooms has been with me, and uh, the first time we did it or she did it was with um after my mom's one of my mom's memorial services we did, and she had like a little bit like a tiny bit just enough to kind of get shit, you know yeah just enough to get shit moving a little bit you know <laughs> and the the, the 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 second time um I gave myself a nice hearty handful because I've had that shit. So many fucking times, like Heroic a, a big dose. handful, right? And uh, she's like, "I'll take as much as you'll take." And I go, "Oh, so you want to meet God? Sure, here you go." Right? Like nothing's bad is gonna happen to you other than you're gonna be like, "What the fuck is going right. on?" Fetal position. And a couple hours in, she's like, "I got a shit," <laughs> and I'm like, "I'm like, hey man, like you'll be fine. Just you know, just treat it like you're fucking drunk or you're high. You'll be you'll be fine. You know, get in there." And um. I had set my my room. I had I had all these LED lights, and I still had LED lights in my room. But like they would change every so often, but they would change rapidly instead of like a fade. It was yeah, just like it was like fucking like yellow, green, strings. blue, red. It would just like change really fast. And I was playing like trance EDM because that's the fucking best. And <laughs> she fucking walks in, and it's just the end of the world. Just what the fuck <laughs> and just like, I would fight for my life for the last hour I called I called <laughs> Texan. and I was just like okay yeah, yeah you're fine <laughs> yeah. and so I was like well, I'm not, I want to experience that and it was boring it was even <laughs> I was just like now I'm just now I'm just here I'm just kidding <laughs> like I, I I've done a way too much LSD in my life um I've done mushrooms way less times obviously um, in the last second to last, yeah, second to last times I did mushrooms was one of the most profound trips I've ever been on. One of the most profound trips I've had ever been on in my <coughs> life was the first time I tripped, obviously. 
but I did eat mushrooms. In fact, it was out of donkey shit. I actually went and picked the shit myself. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. So super fresh. You're and, so Florida. Yeah, I actually <laughs> went with a friend. Yeah. And dude, I was so fucking high. Yeah. That was the first time I ever tripped on anything. But we did tea. We made tea. Mm-hmm. And then uh, mm-hmm. one of the last times I tripped on mushrooms, I did take a considerable amount. And I also did just go through something very, like, fairly traumatic. And I experienced what I can only call as a reverse birth. Mm-hmm. I experienced what it was like to be reverse birth. DMT, yeah. you know? To yeah, go inside a vagina shit, fully? Sure. No, I wish. Um, but just like, <laughs> like backwards? Yeah, <laughs> like getting sucked into plastic? Dive head in? You it know? felt like I was going backwards in time. And uh, everything that I had learned and everything that I had ever known had just been deconstructed. And, and I mean, I also had, I don't want to say it on like air cause it's kind of heavy, but like I had just gone through like a significant loss mm-hmm. and, um, it was just weird. The only way I can put it was like, it was like, a, and I mean, I, t- at this point I had done enough, I've done enough LSD in this room yeah. for all of us to have enough trips to remember for a considerable amount of time. Like mm-hmm. everybody, like every living being in here, message. I've done way too much. <laughs> yeah. LSD. I've, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I've, I'm, I'm lucky that I'm as cognitive as I am for how much LSD. Oh, yeah. I used to sell it in high school when I was a kid. Allegedly. No, I did. <laughs> um, Allegedly. And, and, and I've, done a, it, lot of, it, it's, and it's I've done a lot of research chemicals, which is why my brain's probably so fucked up. Yeah. But but uh, the moral of the story is shrooms ain't nothing to fuck with. Yeah. Like, if you eat enough shrooms, Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's heavy trip. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I had a heavy trip that night. I cried. Dude, I cried so much. All I could do was just... <laughs> <laughs> and, my, and that's actually how so, I kind of met, met my girl. She was like just holding me. Skin. She yeah. barely knew me. She barely knew me. She's like, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I love you. The, oh, the, my, I, was there, she, I woke up. I was crossed into her shirt. I was like stuck to her shirt from her <laughs> And so I, I cried until I was like coming. It's like with the jacket <laughs> off. I cried until I couldn't cry anymore. And then right. cum just came out. And well, cum it, came it, out. It's stuck to her. Like I, I mean, I, I've, do, I've definitely done that. Where like I've had times where like I was like alone, and I was like, I'm just gonna take a bunch, and then I'm gonna meditate and let my mind just kind of expand and have that fun stuff. But there's been other times where like uh, during what made me, me and my fiance is I think it was our last anniversary. I want to say. I always make like a nice dinner. I'll make a really sweet dinner and we'll have like, you know, wine or whatever, you know, just nice and peaceful. Make something she likes and make something I like. And then we can kind of share this moment. And uh, the moment I put these steaks down, I was like, I'm going to take as much mushrooms as possible. You just destroyed and, the meal. And, and, no, no, no. I fuck it. It's fan, fuck, fucking fantastic. But I gave her the same amount. I was like, you take yours when you want to take yours. And then we'll like. But you were already on one, huh? Oh, dude. Well, it's funny because she. she, (laughs) It's like, yeah. (laughs) So she took hers right before like I served dinner and I put dinner down and had my steak and I was sitting down and I got a couple bites into it. I wasn't really, wasn't hitting or anything. And I'm like, oh, shit fucking rips. Like we're having a good time. And I'm like, my steak is crawling across the plate. (laughs) And I'm like, all right, I'm way too high. So I'm going to go ahead and put this shit like while I still have a brain. Box this shit up, put it in the fridge, and I'm gonna go start tripping. Well, the rest of the night, we're just gonna trip the fuck out. It's gonna be fantastic. And, uh, <laughs> y'all wanna eat some shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> she comes in and she goes, She's like, you know that scene in Jaws where the the sheriff is at the beach and that kid gets attacked by the shark? Oh, yeah. And when it's that zooming in shot where it's also zooming out at the same time, so the, everything out behind him is moving and it's moving forward towards him. Yeah. She's like, that's my fucking body just did. <laughs> and I was like, oh, dude, you're, that means you're about to fucking like really to trip. trip. And that was the only time out of all the loose and I've done, I started to have a bad trip. Like not because of what she said, but because we have a, a this is super fucking sad. We have a photo or a painting she did of our, our dog that passed and it's up on our up on our wall. And I'm sitting there and I'm staring at it. And then the dog starts to like fucking like morph and shit come out. And I, I was like, a lot of movement. I was on like, oh, dude, like this is going to be fucking bad. And I'm panicking, but I can't move because I'm just like, like, and, I, and I, I've seen a lot of crazy shit, like just in general. And so I'm just staring at it. And I'm like, oh, that's just, I'm like, I had a moment of clarity. It's like, hey, stupid. That's a painting of your dog. You know, 
you're fine. And then my brain was like, now sink. And it's just fucking the whole world is sick. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's know, fucking Marty Wood. It was guys? the fucking best. And meanwhile, she's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm having a great time. This is the fucking fantastic. I just remember one time, the first time I took, took, took it, the first time I ever tripped, I was looking at my drum kit set up at my friend's house. And it was a, it was a black <clears throat> Tama Rockstar double bass kit. And I'm looking at the hardware that stretches across the whole kit. It's a good looking drum kit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm coming the car guy, the guy that wants to fuck his car. <laughs> but I'll looking, stick my dick in those symbols. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the kit and I'm looking at the light just beaming off the bright silver hardware. And I'm just like I just go. I just look at him. I'm just like, shout out to Chris. Chris first dude who ever let me trip and uh I'm like looking at the kid. I'm like, man, I can't believe I play drums. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, man, I, I'm just like blown away by it. I'm just like, I'm like in astound. I'm like in astounding. It's like, man, if you really think about it, it's kind of crazy. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, and I just started. And then I'm like looking around the room, yeah. and then I'm, it's starting to come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my friends at the time, his mom was had a bunch of like Native American kind of art all over the house. And uh, there's this Native American statue, and it just, I slowly see it start to like hula girl, <laughs> shaking its hip, its hips. And I'm like, I'm tripping hard. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep my, just pick this out of donkey shit. I'm like waiting yeah. for what the feeling of like tripping feels yeah. like to come on. And these are my first two like experiences. Uh, yeah. I mean, this shit was strong. Mm. And first time I tripped, and that's why LSD, that's probably why I did so much LSD, was because I feel like I was maybe chasing that. Yeah. Amount of hallucinogenic properties. Mm -hmm. But I don't think man made shit can be as hallucinogenic as the natural stuff. Yeah. No. It's just I, more I, hallucinogenic, the natural aspect of I it. I feel like all the man made shit that I've had, like, yeah, while it is fun and it is intense, I feel like it's not the same. It's not the same. It's so much more like the trip is deeper when it, you do Yeah, for real. Like you always spiritual. feel like it's less of like, holy fuck, dude, shit's crazy right now and I'm fucking wigging out and then you're like then versus like natural, you know, hallucinogenics where you're like I'm at peace. We should is fine. do this episode again, but do ayahuasca first. Yeah. Dude, Ooh. actually I would yes. I would actually like would, to do ayahuasca. Shit's fun. Oh my oh, god! I, can't I actually have a we'll talk on that. I have a question for the group because I was just talking about this with someone the other day. Do you guys remember the first ever time you smoked weed? I was just thinking that as he was I talking. Do. I do. Yeah, I do. So, so check it. I smoke. I smoked weed probably four or five times mm -hmm. before I ever felt it. Maybe like. Four, five, or six. Where's the weed at? I mean, I know you got I got the, the weed right here. Like that. But um, I smoked weed a few times, and and I didn't feel it. And then I was, I must have been in like, like a freshman or something. And mm -hmm. I was kicking it with all these uh, Mexican kids in Farmington, and we were smoking. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll smoke with these dudes. I can smoke like I can smoke like hell weed, you know. And uh, I got. That was the first time I felt it. That's mm -hmm. the first time, like I was just smoking like a pro. Like, oh, yeah, I can smoke, and don't, they don't. I'm a bad ass. They don't know that I can't feel. I don't get stoned. <laughs> and then I remember hitting it that last time, just being like, and that was it. <laughs> big old fucking hit, like the biggest hit, the actual like big coffin hit. Trying to show them like I can smoke. Yeah, and yeah. then I'm sitting there, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> In my head, I'm thinking that I'm like, oh fuck. Dude, I smoked spice one time by accident when oh, I was kid. And I had spice many spice times. I, I had Purpose. smoked. I had smoked a lot of weed, yeah. you know. And I'm just at fucking. We're like waiting for the weed man, you know. I'm at. I'm with my girlfriend at the times. Big brother. He was a. He was this really awesome, cool Korean dude. <coughs> and we're waiting for the weed man to come back. And uh, they come back. And unbeknownst to me, I'm like a sophomore in high school. I don't know shit. Mm -hmm. They roll up this shit. We smoke this shit. Finally, I'm like, I'm just me and my girl. We're just like, man, we're ready to get the fuck out of here, dude. Mm -hmm. we, we just we're rolling with big bro. You know, we didn't want to fucking hang out or anything. But finally, he comes back with the weed. We're like, all right, yeah, we're gonna smoke. What's up? Mm -hmm. I don't think she did. I think I did. But um, and holy shit. Talk about a trip, yeah, bro. That shit is gnarly. Oh, dude, dude what, I, I've only heard horror stories. Trip. I've never heard good it was stories. So bad. It was so bad that my mom was mad that I 
been gone so late that my mom could tell on my face that it wasn't even worth arguing. She was like, my mom could see. I was like, mom, I, just, I need to go to bed. <laughs> she was, she could see. Like, she could see my tomorrow. desperation. And yeah. Yeah, yeah. she thought like, oh man, something Bro, bad. That something, shit's terrifying. She, I, I got away with it. She was probably like, oh, something really bad just happened. <laughs> <laughs> one time one time at my house, we, me and Charles used to smoke a lot of spice. That shit's evil. <laughs> me and Charles used to smoke a lot of spice, but we were at my, we were at my dad's house. And it was mostly our homie Brandon. He kind of got us on it. But uh, oh yeah, I've seen pictures of that guy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> he looks like the kind of guy who smokes spice. Yeah, yeah, he did, he used to smoke a lot of spice. Jeez. But at one time, like we, me and Charles were in my room, right? And he was Charles playing guitar, being his little like bitch ass self when he plays guitar. You know, <laughs> <laughs> all I like happy go lucky. I go back into the room, and Brandon's smoking spice, like and I was like, I was like, let me take a hit of that. And I take a hit, and immediately it hits me like. Oh my god, I'm about to have a heart attack. Like, yeah, I am freaking the fuck Tunnel out right vision. now. You get this shit, you're looking like this, <laughs> and then, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, I was like, I can't be feeling like this by myself. Uh, we're driving home, so, we're driving home. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, I was like, I can't be feeling like this by myself. So I immediately like played it cool, I acted normal. I walked to Charles while I'm freaking out on the inside. I was like, Bro, you got to try this. This is the best shit I've ever smoked. <laughs> Charlie it was called died. it was called Granddaddy Potpourri. And uh, <laughs> and I hand it to him and I was like, "Bro, you got to smoke Have this." Have you ever smoked this shit? And Charles takes <laughs> one hit. Charles <laughs> takes one hit of this spice and he <laughs> and he immediately sets down the guitar and stands up and just starts pacing, bro. <laughs> let's, pacing back. let's bring Tony back. Let's bring Tony back and let's import some spice from whatever oh, state he yeah. did. And let's have Tony smoke spice smoke and spice. see and let's see the kids and we'll put it out as a public warning. Like kids, this is what happens this when you smoke happens, spice. Right? <laughs> well, have you ever seen the video of gardening on Salvia? Yeah, yeah, Fucking yeah. Sound. Have you seen that video? No. Uh, oh. It's miserable. God, you gotta show me. Oh, yeah, man. I know. I, I think we can get it up on the pod. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's called <laughs> Gardening on Salvia. Just like, I'm so wet and it's and cold. It's probably one of the fucking best videos I've ever seen. It's 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 just it's it's, it's real fucking short. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll tell I'll tell you I've what. Smoked, yeah, I've smoked. Uh, well, and also you can. Uh, if you want to, yeah, yeah, I yeah, smoked. Just, just yeah, me and Marty used to smoke spice a lot, and um, it it not every time was it bad, but it was not good. Uh, a few times, like there was a few times I definitely thought I was gonna die. Um, mm -hmm. while I was on spice and on salvia, one time I smoked salvia. Uh, thinking it was weed. Oh, oh shit. that's no fun. Well, that's what happened to me. I thought I was smoking weed, and I wasn't. <laughs> like this. Multiple eyes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm in Kingsland, Georgia. They're driving me back to Yuli. I'm looking at, like, this. All I see is his lights on the road, yeah. and, like, this is how big my eyes are. Yeah. I just see, like, lights. I would just get that constant and, and dark, jump. Darkness. Charles is zero on the keyboard to switch, but yeah. also your mouse is over here on this screen. Yeah, I know. Just darkness. It's There's gonna be nothing. that, that first or the second one, Charles. You can see other guys is laying I got, on I the ground. Home. I, I was just saying, I was like, I came home. Hey, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so like, this is <laughs> this All video. Right. All right, watch this video. I gotta go to bed now. Check this out. This is this is one of my favorite videos. It's called Gardening on Salvia. And it's just, it's probably one of the more fun videos about salvia. About five centimeters on each side, and that plant's going to fit perfectly inside there. Once we have that in the ground, Can we watch the whole thing? Or? Grow, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Itself, and we're going to water it, and then we're going to make sure that it's doing okay with a little bit of... Oh, he's a great gardener. I'm going to show you how to do it in a little bit. First, step one is we're going to smoke our salvia. <laughs> <laughs> This has got to be in Florida. Yep. <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, he's wearing pants. He's wearing pants. This no video is way. so fun, dude. <laughs> it's so it funny. It looks like Oregon. Sleeves. So he just took the hit, and he's now... now you want to hold that in until your vision begins to vibrate. <laughs> yep. And we're going to go ahead and dig our hole. So, yeah. I found a nice spot right here. Oh, but no. I think I'm going to dig into. Is he going to cut his <laughs> fucking hand off? <laughs> no, no. It's not a gore video. It just... <laughs> it's kicked in. 
if you want to watch the audio podcast, go on the Comedy Chaos Network and find sick. it. Sick. The shit makes you sick. Link in bio. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> He's. I just he gotta lay well. down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's, that's what happened to me. I went home. And I, did that. <laughs> I went home yeah. and I did that. My mom could tell instantly. She yeah. saw. She saw my face. She never asked me about it either. Yeah, bro. Look at him. Look at him. He just. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. I swear to God. I have you guys seen this video before? I swear time. to God, I might have came I home. Am. I have to ask my mom. Yeah. I might have came home and literally said, "Mom, don't talk to me." Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she so, can tell how serious. That, I that's pretty much the rest of the video. <laughs> it's just, it's just laying in there, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, just shot up. It's pretty. Funny. It's pretty fun, dude. Yeah, uh, that's just bad. Oh, it's that's so funny, devil. dude. The shit I smoked was Bob Marley. It was literally like, had Bob uh, Marley. <laughs> like, how dare you put Bob Marley's face on this? On Spice. Yeah. Yeah, how on fucking dare you? Put? You know, it's kind of funny because, like... That's um, how they sold everybody on it. <laughs> the first ever time I smoked weed, <coughs> um, it ended up being laced with something. And I'm not sh- quite sure what it was. Um, but it, it made me afraid of weed for a long time because I it a- afterward, like not because of what happened, because of the way I felt after. Um, the first time I smoked weed, I was with my cousins and my co- one of my cousins' boyfriends and my my uh, younger cousin who was with us, who, who was like a year like older than me, something like that. Um, he was like, "Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna buy this from this guy that I know. We'll be good and all that, whatever." And this is like fucking high school, you know. And I'm like, "We'll go back to my dad's house. We'll smoke this shit." And um, we we hit it with from a bong. We all fucking hit it, and uh, which is obviously a good start. And um, I remember the moment that I knew I was high. I just screamed out loud, "I'm high!" <laughs> like just like that fucking <laughs> he was like he was like all right bro <laughs> you could you could calm down you're fine and i'm like oh dude this is crazy and then i stood up and all the blood rushed to my body and then everything changed <laughs> the walls to turn purple everything turned purple my it was like it was like a tint like on my fucking eyes everything was purple, yeah, purple hey. and i couldn't figure <laughs> out purple what the fuck was going on and I like stepped in the hallway and they, were, they had three dogs and they were staggered across the hallway and I felt like I was on the moon. I'm just like, <laughs> like you know, stepping around so, you know, the dog. You saw Grimace? The world Dude, just slowly. <laughs> I saw Grimace for real. Like, and I drug? fucking. What drug was that? <laughs> what drug was that? I, 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 well, I was I, what I was smoked was weed, but oh. I'm guessing it had something else in it. Yeah, it maybe had and, some and I'm it. fucking I, medicine. I like I remember sitting down on the couch because I'm like, this is fucking weird. Now this is what I subscribe to, you know. Like this is like what it was told me how it's supposed to be like. So I'm sitting there on the couch and I look over at my cousin and he had just made microwave burritos, and I remember him sitting down and he picked it up. And then he just started laughing at the burrito as hard as he could, and he just put it on the, t- the table. And that shit sat there for like two fucking days. But <laughs> dude, I smoked weed with opium in it. Oh, oh dude, I was, was about to, I was just about to. I won't. I, I won't make it long. I promise. I'll keep it short. Uh, fucking my dad. One time, my dad's pretty liberal about weed. He's pretty. He's like a hippie. He's like a deadhead and shit. And he told me one time he was at this fellow dead head guy's house that I think he worked with and um the dude was just honest with him he was like hey I'm just letting you know this has like a little bit of opium on it is it cool with you if I fire it up as is and he actually had the courtesy to ask my dad like hey before we smoke weed is that cool with you and my dad thought about it for a little bit and he just asked him he was kind of like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get he's like is it really just opium and not like you know anything else and he was like yeah it's just the extract yeah. the poppy seed extract yeah, yeah, yeah. and my dad was like he's like and honestly there really wasn't much in here so my dad was like yeah it's cool with me he's like as long as you promise me i'll be all right and he hit it and he said it was fucking awesome yeah he was like it was awesome he, was <laughs> just like, was we, we, he said he's like we just listened to records the best feeling ever he said, we, he said literally <laughs> we just we, we laid there for a couple hours and listened to records he said it was awesome well, i was yeah. a heroin addict for so long yeah well it's so uh, amazing so i did it i we smoked it on top of some weed 
Mm-hmm. And so we smoked it on weed, and it was kind of like the perfect like balance. Because you know when you smoke weed, sometimes like you get like anxiety, it and it takes it's, that off. It's very yeah. yeah. So it's it's like the weed high with like that pulled down, mm-hmm. and it's like. Yeah, same thing. Like I just remember being the most chill I'd ever. I felt like Bob Marley. Maximum chill. You were yeah. just you were you were uh, bliss. Y- bliss. Bliss. Yeah. yeah. Blissed out. But I yeah definitely you could see how like back in the the olden times that was like kind of like the heroin of yeah. the time. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Because yeah, I love to sit in an opium den and just like yeah. lay there, and they just keep bringing it out, and you're just like yeah. smoking and smoking like while you're just yeah. good. But opium. in conjunction with just being slobbed off the entire time. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Just, like, like, <laughs> just getting sucked to sleep every like day. <laughs> going in the first, thinking you're leaving the next day, but it's been a month. Just like just your sp- <laughs> basically, you live in a perpetual state where your spirit's leaving your Man, body. You're just a skeleton. You're just getting fucking literally like fucking sucked to sleep. Yeah. But you're high as shit on mm. opium. Well, we put David. We that's put, terrible. David, please, d- please cut that. Like we, we put. <laughs> we put, we put Eric, keep it in. <laughs> we put Eric in VR. Oh yeah, Eric Wharton. We put Eric in VR and was shown in porn, and he said he wanted to live in that. Like, well, he, no, he no, no. To so, keep it so on wait. Forever. Hold on, I let me go to here. <laughs> he wanted to live like in a. You know what I mean? Let like, me go to the beginning of this. Eric Wharton. First, Eric Wharton, yeah. no, no, David. First, we gave Eric Wharton a quarter of mushrooms, and he, uh, and he no, eats a quarter uh, of mushrooms. This we'd, was we'd, on your show. Yeah, it was on All My Friends Are Dicks. It was on another podcast that okay. we do. But uh, that, there's a reason why that one doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, it exists. It's, it's, it's on terrible. Spotify. It's on, it's on Spotify. Spotify. You can listen. Check it out. Another part of the Comedy Chaos Network. Um, but uh, yeah, you could, yeah, you could listen to it. So he did a bunch of mushrooms. We had him on the podcast, and not only did we put porn on his head, mm. like he, he puts the headset on, and it's gay porn. Mm. <laughs> and so he puts it on, and he's like, "What's going? Yeah, yeah." He's like, "What's going on?" He's like, "I bet, I bet." He's like, "I'm getting fucked right now." <laughs> he's, just like, he's just, "Whoa, he like, bro, this whoa. is kind of fun. What's going on?" And here? then it ended, and he was like, "Play it again." <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, "Cause like we could see on the phone that or whatever." It's like Wharton. We could see on the phone what he was seeing, and it was like, it was like oh, dudes like dang. fucking circle like fucking. <laughs> Like that, but just you're, oh in, you're in VR, so you can like you know what just I mean. Totally like, jerked it. You're living in it. <laughs> yeah, oh. if you put your hands out there, you're doing it. <laughs> I think we Smoke made me with it again. I think we made him a like a a oh woman so he could look down and see his oh, pussy. Yeah, yeah, we did see. Oh. <laughs> we put him in the whim, woman POV category, so it looks like, like he's a woman getting so fucked. Just, like, <laughs> grab yourself. Yeah, like, man, that's so weird. Yeah, I saw I this thing. Live in there too. I saw this yeah, thing. Right, right? I saw this thing where this physicist was talking about a game that got developed. Developed by um, six college students that's like has like endless basically endless universes in the game and yeah. they're trying to get an uh, AI company to invest money into putting AI into the game it's already an endless game you could never play it all um, they're talking about how like it actually is probable that the beings if given that AI intelligence could also write their own scripts oh yeah and uh, that's the writer strike going on right now. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, and and make the spark of life. Yeah. Well, Quite I mean, literally, have, just like what we're experiencing right now. Have it's you fu- have you thing. fucked with Chat GPT at all? I, I'm not familiar. That shit's gnarly. So, um, I, I will get Chat GTP. Get deep on like. I will I will get Chat GTP lined up and ready to go. And I want you to give me a prompt of something. I want you to give me like an idea or a script, uh, preferably a script. Uh, of like an idea that you have, like for a movie, for a movie, whatever, or like and, anything, and I'll have I'll have Chat GBT write it out. Okay, me, personally? yeah, yeah. It could oh, be anything. A woman walks into a bar, dressed in purple. She walks up to the bar and has oh. a shot of Jaeger. See, she sees Charlie. Wait, sitting. You're writing the story. <laughs> she sees Charlie. Me? I don't know if AI is going to pick me up. on the left of her. And she wonders what his dick looks like. Yeah, that's it. That's so it. it won't do anything sexual. Oh. Okay, hold on. Well, well fuck. I mean, goddamn, what's it worth then? <laughs> it's definitely not. Well, it's it's definitely there. not divine. It's getting there. It's, it's getting definitely there. not divine yet. What does his hot dog taste like? <laughs> 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 about a woman. About a woman meeting Charlie. Okay. And ask Charlie what his favorite band is. 
And it turns out his like, favorite band is the Beatles. Who and is she Charming doesn't like Dave? that. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like the Beatles. She's more of a Stones kind of girl. Okay, we can go from there. Okay. Decent enough. She massages know. herself gently. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking... Uh, she comes in and rubs her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look right here, it's writing out the script... As we're talking, oh, and, dude. I'll, and I'll, I'll show That's it. It's terrifying. It's writing it out super, super fast, um, and it's still writing. She rubs nipples with hamburger. <laughs> right. They can see it on the camera. <laughs> yeah, and I'll read it. Real and uh, yeah, me, me and Marty, what, can, what, me and Marty can act say, it out. What did Eric Wharton say? Jesus, can watch I, I, me I, jerk can be, my I can be. I can be the lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so they it titled this called "Out of Tune." Out of Tune. Interior coffee shop day. Lily. A young woman with a passion for music sits at a table in the corner of a cozy coffee shop, sipping her latte and rubbing her nipples. <laughs> it, doesn't, yes! it doesn't say that, but I added it. Oh, okay. oh, she glances around, <laughs> observing the customers. Charlie, AI an enthusiastic sucks. and talkative guy in his late 20s, Charlie. approaches her table. Charlie, hi there. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Lily hesitates for a moment, then smiles and gestures for Charlie to sit. Lily? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> they exchange introductions, and Charlie starts to talk about his favorite band. Charlie, excitedly, you know, my all-time favorite band is the Beatles. Their music's just timeless, don't you think? Lily's f smile fades slightly as she tries to be polite in her yes. response. Lily. Oh, the Beatles? Well, they're a classic, but their music doesn't resonate with me. Charlie seems taken aback, but remains enthusiastic. Charlie. Oh, come on. They shape the music industry and influence so many artists. You have to give them a chance. Lily feels a bit uncomfortable, but doesn't want to offend Charlie. Red Lily. flags. I, I respect their impact, but I prefer other genres and artists, to be honest. Oh, me too. I don't like the Beatles anymore either. <laughs> Charlie's enthusiasm starts to wane, and he loses his boner. Charlie, fair enough. So what kind of music do you enjoy? Lily's eyes light up as she talks about her favorite band and musicians. I love indie rock and folk music. Bands like the, the Lumineers and Bon Iver are my favorite artists. Boner. Charlie fur. farts on this girl and walks out. <laughs> yeah, it keeps going. It keeps but going. it's fucking, isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah. You see how, you see how fast that happened? It's fucking yeah. weird. I mean, dude, it's crazy. It I mean, really it, is. it. I don't think Amber. AI has enough on me to uh, to make it. But like, if you were to put not me, like, I mean, if you describe uh, yourself a different, well, if you put like, say, like a character or like a celebrity as instead of Charlie, then I think it would add its like their isms. You know, if you put like Brad right. Pitt, Ooh, like look, a Brad Pitt. Look, look. Type oh, you know what? Buffalo all, Bill. All AI can do. Buffalo is, Bill. Okay, so the funniest, the funniest part of that whole bit yeah. was the fact that I said the Beatles was Charlie's favorite band, <laughs> and the whole thing that made that whole bit interesting yeah. was pretty much only that. Yeah. All AI can do is plagiarize. That's Original pretty, thought, pretty much. Plagiarism. But I mean, uh, can Char do. Charlie just brought up a really fun, a uh, really fun question because we all have our isms. Um, Charlie's is is drag racing. Marty's is fish, and mine is is ghosts. Uh, what do you what is your guys's tisms? Fuck. And don't say drumming. Yeah, yeah you can't, can't say. And then music. Yeah, because <laughs> fuck, we all, we all fuck, fucking play fuck. music. I like, think we can both agree there. Fuck. fuck yeah, fucking fuck. for sure. Fuck Born. is one of them. But yes. I don't know. If fucking can be. It. Yes, it, it can. It can be. Fucking everything. is most people's tism. Yeah, it has to be like your secret what? thing that you're like. <laughs> you, you know a lot about you can like when somebody brings it up in a conversation. Okay. You can it just lights talk up. About it. You light up. Right, I, right. I I get really excited about World War Two. Dude, okay, hold on. I might have, I have, I have, I might have multiple tisms. Dude, okay, so me and you. I get really page. excited about that one. Um, UFOlogy, not because I believe. First of all, I just want to say I believe most UFO experiences are interdimensional. I don't believe they're. David, David, <laughs> you're getting me so excited right now. You have no fucking idea. I'm so fucking excited. I think most of it's yeah. interdimensional. Um. I have some ideas on it, but it, they're not advanced or anything. Dude, Fred's about to come. Dude, I'm about to fucking bust. They're, they're you have no idea informed, how excited. They're I am. mostly informed from just watching stuff that I've seen about it. Um, and and I've I've searched, I've weeded through the bullshit. Yeah. A lot of the bullshit. Um, 
I've seen UFOs, and I'm sure you probably have too. Yeah. And I'm, I know you guys have grown up in New Mexico, and I, I mean, I've seen, I believe in shit that I can see. I've seen them. I've huffed gas and literally seen one. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's not a okay, lie. That, that's that, like that, a true story. Oh, All right, well, hold on, hold on. Well, let's hear the story. That. Let's hear the story. Yeah. Huffing yeah. Gas I've, and seeing the, seen the yeah. UFOs. <laughs> okay, let's the hear woods, the story. My buddy Andrew and we uh, had like a tank of gas, and that was basically the game plan. Was like, let's huff gas. <laughs> oh I used to do like, I mean, we used to do everything. I've done everything but like Jemkin or whatever it is, which I, I thought about trying. That's like, you know, where you shit in like a two liter and then put a balloon oh, yeah. on it and like let it inflate and hop <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that. That's something, you know, that's still that on my list. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we just went out. Wait, in the what woods. is that called again? Gen- Jemkin? Jem- Jemkin. It's like a blunt. Hey, I was gonna, yeah. You see why I brought him on? It's <laughs> like Jemkin Jug Jammers. I was going to start a band called that. And, uh, <laughs> But uh, I think, like, yeah, we just wanted to do, we just wanted to huff gas. So we went out in the woods, and, like, he, it had, like, the tube on this end. This was, like, old school. It didn't have a safety mechanism. And then it had the hole, like, on this end, you know, to unscrew. So he blew into the tube while I just went... And no. just like kept it hailing, and then yeah, I saw you like that to your lungs? like triangle. Lights. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I, I think they were there. I don't know. It was fun. Killed some brain cells though. You might have actually <laughs> seen an anomaly that could have been there. I might have been in a different dimension, but it was definitely you might have been a UFO to someone else, dude. Yeah, also, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, you, like, you were the UFO. It's dude. true. And I've done like this one time I. Got a nitrous tank for playing a show. Some people brought it to our after party. Oh, you so told like me about full, this. Yeah, and I was doing it, and there's like this. Those are cool. And you just sit in my bed, you know, I was supposed to be in like Like the dentist use. Yeah, like yeah, Like the yeah. dentist use. So you just sit there yep. and huff, huff it all day because I didn't want to go to That's school. That's safe. Not like humping yeah. actual gas. No, <laughs> gas is dumb. That was, I was young. Yeah, but, uh, don't do that again. <laughs> I evolved. Daddy but, uh, will punish. I remember doing that and just like I was doing so much nitrous, like you know when your lips turn blue. But uh, I was <laughs> when you were about like, to die. It's just like weird, <clears throat> like Hawaiian shirt wearing man and a woman that I would just be having full blown conversations with while I was huffing like nitrous. What's the? Uh, it's very weird. Well, who's the trainer in Dragon Ball Z? Oh, oh yeah, that, dude. That was who he was talking to. I kind of like that. Yeah, it was bizarre. Yeah, well, nothing like, wrong with what it. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, shit, I've never gone that far. I mean, haven't multiple people, like, scientists and, like, uh, talked about how actual, like, drugs could be, like, the link to, like, different dimensions and shit? You know, they're they're actually DMT playing. They're actually, like, mapping it out. Because I guess they're finding that when people do it, it takes you to, like, people see certain beings and, like, certain places that everybody's seeing who does it. It's a, so it's it's called it. shared. It's just shared. It, it, this like is the thing about reality. Shared psych. What psychologists have been calling it forever is shared psychosis. But what psychosis suggests is that it's a state and not an actual presence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Psychosis being. It's like an. It's almost like an illness more so, and it's like a. It's something that happens, whereas it's actually always there. I think. Yeah, it just. I mean, I mean, any physicist I think could get behind that, just because there's only so many of the spe- spectral light that we can see. Well, they're mm-hmm. saying our brains are kind of like antennas, and when you do those drugs, you're like changing frequency kind of you know what i mean yeah. like yeah, well i mean i'm watching a, i'm here i am i'm like 17 in my mom's house i'm tripping i'm watching a black and white movie but there's colors bursting out of the lines of symmetry in the movie it's like i'm and i'm like hallucinating you on you made that but is it real yeah Maybe but i'm seeing it right. i'm seeing it i mean it's definitely happening um, you know, I don't need anybody to tell me that, you know, so I mean, I'm just saying like there's drugs out there that can make us see spectrums of light where mm-hmm. typically we wouldn't see it. So what's to say that, you know, it can't, it couldn't be a step 10 times further, you know, yeah. <laughs> Dave, I mean, do you remember when we saw like UFOs on tour? Yeah. yeah, I mean, and then I Down saw some, I saw some more right uh, shortly afterwards. It wasn't long afterwards. I saw a bunch uh, right over where me and Yule used to live on Thompson. Th- that was the first really real UFO phenomena that I experienced where I was like, Yule was like geeking, pulled over the car. And I was like, man, he always is like looking for him. 
but then it happened. <laughs> He's but all stoic it, but, looking for UFOs. But, but then it happened. <laughs> but then it happened, and I was with him, and I couldn't believe it. And yeah, and the, I don't think it could have. I honestly don't think it could have happened with anybody else. I think y- Yule, we were like meant to see that together. I think Yule is like somewhere in the between. You oh, know what definitely. I mean? Like he's supernatural. Yeah. yeah. Like one day it's gonna be like uh, close encounters, and they're gonna like land, and you're they're gonna be like. Point at you, and he's gonna be like, with, he's gonna be like, yeah, what? With his hand, like, oh, <laughs> I'm going with you. But he'll it's be, like, like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, well, it's like, here's the Rainier, like this is the Rainier, like they'll land, he'll just be out on his like porch somewhere, and this will be the Rainier in his hand, and they'll be like, stick him up, and he'll be like this. Uh, do you got a light? <laughs> and then, <laughs> <He's> like, <what>? <laughs> you light, <laughs> bro, bro, you want to take me? You need a light. Would you guys have <laughs> sex with an alien? Yes, but um, <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so, well, yeah, but um, do we we have to do a Doc After Dark episode where I can really truly nerd out, nerd out. Uh, about aliens and and paranormal phenomena because that's all I ever truly talk about. Um, because I, I just got to say, Val- Valhalla is for the taking boys. There's endless pleasure domes awaiting our eager flesh horns. I'm just well, a pleasure vessel. <laughs> <laughs> having sex with alien- aliens, you know what this is, right? No. That's, what is it? Two in the Hold pink, on. two in the. Hey, let's see. Marty, Marty, let's fucking. Do it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, but I, I actually, I, I'm, down, I'm down to come back for the alien edition. Yeah, yeah. That so fun. I actually went on Chat GBT. Uh, well, we'll bring Yule to that it, one. Yes, you will love that. Shit. Um, where I was talking, uh, I said I asked Chat GBT. Um, said write a screenplay about Marty pooping his pants on Target. And Target, yeah. Specifically Target. It says, interior, Target store day. The busting aisles of Target store fill the scene with shoppers browsing and employees stocking shelves. Marty, late 20s, slightly awkward, walks through the store uh, looking for the restroom. He clutches his stomach, showing signs of discomfort. And goes inside, and Marty spots the bathroom sign and quick, quickens his pace, hoping to make it in time. He glances around, realizing the bathroom is located on the other end of the store. Always. Marty walks faster in desperation in his eyes. A group of kids with toys nearby, their laughter echoing in the aisle. Marty winces and and clutches his stomach tighter. As he continues, Marty picks up his pace, almost running now. He spots an employee stocking shelf and tries to ask for directions, but his discomfort prevents him from coherent sentences. Marty, restroom, where? (laughs) <laughs> the employee puzzled by Marty's incoherence points towards the I back need of the to store. Come. <laughs> employee uh, to in the sort of past the electronic section. Marty nods and bolts away, leaving the confused employee behind. Marty rushes through the electronic section, dodging <laughs> shoppers along the way. He's so close to the restroom, but doesn't know if he can make it. Marty reaches the back corridor, and the restroom is within sight, but suddenly he stops dead in his tracks. His Out face turns, turns pale and cl- as he clutches his st- <laughs> clutches his fist. Marty whispers to himself, "Oh no, oh no!" <laughs> he frantically searches for an alternative situation, a solution, but there's no restroom nearby. Marty's desperation reaches its peak when he realizes there's no way out. He glances around, feeling defeated, and makes a quick decision. Marty looks around to make sure no one is watching, and hurries towards the less crowded corner of the corridor. Yes. <laughs> Marty quickly takes off his jacket and ties it around his waist, attempting to hide the evidence of his accident. <laughs> he takes a deep breath, trying to remain calm, but the embarrassment is overwhelming. Marty tries to compose himself and walks away, hoping that no one has noticed his mishap. He feels humiliated and wants to escape. The store is <laughs> an exit of the score, store as quickly as possible. Marty makes his way towards the exit, front exit and trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy. He avoids eye contact with other shoppers and employees, tr- praying that he won't run to anyone he knows. As he exits the store, Marty makes <laughs> takes a sigh of relief with embarrassment, vowing to never return to this Target again. If that was a story about Rick, it would have been like, Eric has to I'm, take a shit in the Target. He can't make it to story, the bathroom, so he, shits a piss. <laughs> so, he, so he shits leaned up against the toy aisle, making contact with many women. <laughs> contact. Eric shits, can't, uses his sock, his crusty sock for... Crusty sock. 
<laughs> for some uh, TP. That's fucking crazy, for bro. For TP. For TP. That's almost a true story, except it didn't happen. You target. know what's kind of funny is a couple, um, I think it was like two years ago on Valentine's Day, I went to a Dick's Sporting Goods for whatever. Dicks. Yeah, I went, I went to a Dick's for whatever <laughs> reason. And I can't remember why we were there specifically. Uh, I think I was there to to grab some sort of like Bo- fishing thing or whatever. But, Bocce balls. Um, I walked in and I was like, I kind of already had to shit. And uh, I, I remember walking through the front doors of the dicks and uh, I looked at my fiance and I was like, Got to shit in dicks. And I was like, I'm going to shit my fucking pants. And I just knew that it was going to happen and I could just feel it. And I fucking scrambled around that store for like 10 minutes just being like <laughs> yeah, bathroom <laughs> they're like yeah we got a bathroom sweating. dude I was actually sweating and they finally did it they finally were like oh yeah the codes blah 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 and it's back here and so I went back there and then the first thing I was like oh my god I finally fucking made it Oh, that was so scary. And I was like, oh, I, should, I should update Facebook. <laughs> so somewhere on my Facebook profile, I was like, it's not Valentine's It said, almost shit my pants in a dick sporting goods. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, we never got around to it. What's your tism? Oh, man. Uh, I'll fucking get ass. <laughs> uh, that's tough. I mean, I like a lot of things. Uh this is like something I, I like. It's like that thing that sparks me, gets me going, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and sex isn't an option. Fucking's not an option. Yeah. So, um, I don't know, man. I guess I like dogs a lot. Yeah. I really cool. get into Ooh. animals and dogs. Okay, what's your, what's your favorite a kind of dog? Way. Uh, <laughs> I guess my dog. My dog's a Bernadoodle, but I kind of like all dogs. Steve the same, except dog. I don't really like little dogs too much because they, they, they always bite me. Did little you maintain fuckers. the dog? Out of the relationship? Yeah. You Fuck have yeah, I kept my dog. Really? Yeah. Nice. That's, my, that's my baby girl. You guys were able to meet my dog at the beginning of uh, oh, before she so started filming. Fucking cute. Char- Charles hasn't met at my dog I yet. Did. I did. I, I know this guy because of dogs. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Cleaning shit together. Picking up <laughs> and dog being like, shit. Fuck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, little fucking, my little fucking horror. <laughs> 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 like we're in there, Everybody like clean, We're like in there cleaning up dog shit, like by ourselves, like during COVID, and we're just in there losing our minds. <laughs> fucking pussy! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Daddy's only happy when there's pain. <laughs> just losing ourselves, like losing. We want literally, to, like literally turning yeah. into zombies. There were so many times where we would just be like, man, because we weren't having people in the building. We're like, and we were just like, just came in right now and hurt us. And we would be. St- Beyond fire. I was literally at that point in my life was just like, just stick a gun in my head. Like, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this what is, are we doing? So I have a less of a fun story, but something I've always wanted to talk about on the pod, which I'm not sure if I have, yeah. but uh, my uh, my fiance worked at a vet clinic for a while, uh, a, a quite a long time. And um, we had to... Um, oh, hold on. I think oh, Tony's got a. Yeah, I got a dip, dip guys. Tony's, Tony's got a hey, dip. Tony, before you dip, do yeah. you want to do you want to plug anything on the pod real quick before you pre roll roll? Uh, I guess what is fuck? What date is it? September in September, I got a solo thing, so just kind of uh, check out. Yeah, Lava D, my personal Instagram, and follow all that. Where is the camera at? Because I keep looking. It's up. still it's right the camera. Why are his eyes rolling? Yeah, I in don't his even head? Really know uh, where the camera is. I've been looking at. Yeah, the check that the whole out time. and um, check out Head the Hive and. Yeah, Tony's band fucking I, rips. I heard, I've, like, I've heard a lot of good things about Head the Hive. They fucking so. rip. Yeah, we and, have and girls love. We have Tony. orgies. No, he doesn't have yeah, orgies. But Tony, know. they love Tony's man. And maybe some more basket. Huh? Cambodian baskets. Yes. <laughs> no, but uh, fucking. Uh, when are you gonna dro- guys gonna drop the whole album? Uh, I mean, I've heard it. It's fucking yeah, it's great. Good. Uh, probably. I think we're gonna just start releasing like one a month, basically, and just until it's over. Oh, and and then you'll move on to the new yeah. lineup. Yeah, I gotta find some new members. I'm I'm going through a transition in life, but yeah, uh, I we mean, know, we know we know all about that. Oh, That's yeah, what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we they actually literally do know how that is. Yeah, we yeah. do. <laughs> yeah, That's we the do. name of the game, man. Just <laughs> musical chairs. It's okay. It's okay. it's healthy. It's 
okay. You live, you, you learn. You guys are okay. I love you Hey, guys. you guys were great the other night when I saw you guys without me. That was actually really special for me. Yeah. And it was cool because I know Andrew. Yeah. And it was just cool to see him, like... He was nervous as fuck. He, he was shouldn't like, have been. Well, because he was just like, it was you. It was a basement, too. He was watching. It was a basement, He's too. playing parts that you wrote. And it was in a that's basement. Hard. And yeah, not just that. Hard. And not just that. It's in a basement. So there's, it's not like he can't see me. It's like I'm standing. That's hard, man. Because then it's like, it's, oh. Oh, I play, I've been that guy. Yeah, like and I've been that guy. Else's part. I know what that's like. Yeah. I know what yeah. that's like. It's always. But, yeah. uh, but you guys were great. Oh, you. you guys were great, like um, especially the new stuff. Like the new stuff just seemed like a new band, and yeah, that's what it's all about. You can't got to keep it rolling. You can't yeah, right, never stop. That's why I. That's honestly why we don't play together because I didn't want to hold the project back, which is the truth. Like you don't ever want to be the guy that's bands. like the reason why the shit can't move. <laughs> that's what I was telling you. Like you yeah, can't, you can't uh, burnout mode. Well yeah. now now now, now all of us play in ten fucking bands. You yeah. can't sit an idol. Well, thanks for joining us here, Tony. Yeah, yeah Tony. It was, yeah. it was fun. I'm gonna go masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have to work. He has it he has it came in like fucking Yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't minutes. make that to that two hour mark. Trying to do the whole twenty four. I uh <laughs> Yeah, no, uh Well drive safe, man. Yeah. No, I, I, I finally, I don't always read my messages and stuff, and I finally saw this message David wrote me, and uh, it was... Oh, uh, play it. Uh, that's that's oh, no, no, not, not that, not can that one, it? not can that one. We can't play that well, one, okay. but I'm talking about you, let me one... Let send it to him and he can play it over there. Dave was talking about listening to Death Ska, and I actually listened to it recently, and I mean, that that, it's very, it's like... I can listen to that album and he remember a time, and it like puts like a uh, like a image in my head of us like just I don't know being young and stupid and doing all those stupid things. And in it's Vegas. a good album too. It is a good album. It's, it's good fun. Album. The drumming on it sounds fucking dope. Like it sounds yeah, like I would change certain mixing things about it, but I'm glad that we didn't let Fuckhead mix it. Don't say his name. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> um, I won't. In fact, he's worked with a lot. A couple, one person actually that I know, but uh, well, he's worked with a lot of people we know. But there's one particular group. Tech I do. Nine. I, so I have that audio. Not everyone can mix David. metal, man. Yes, yeah, but the, the, the audio. Uh, were, this is the type of shit me and this was sent me. to you, right? I, I'm yeah, just, yeah. I'm. This is me driving around. My wife Peggy says I'm a good way. My wife, Peggy, loves me, so she pegs me every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my brain. Like, that is me. That's my brain. Like, what? Like, my girl says, like, yeah, there's probably something wrong with you. Yeah, I mean. I mean, she loves me, though, for being like that. But, I mean, that's me. Like, that is literally me being me. Like, I could never get a corporate job. I could never do it. I, I can't sacrifice that piece of me. I'm fucked up. Yeah. I'm yeah. fucking I remember you, you worked at the Cheesecake Factory for, like, two hours once. No, that was fucking way more than two hours, man. It was, like, two days, maybe. It was, like, dude, it was more like a fucking week and a half and then I got a different job uh, at least I quit because I got a different job I mean I just was that was one place I didn't feel like I needed to know I that was the one time in my life I've no called no showed I've never done that mm -hmm. ever I've never no called no showed because my parents you know taught me to be a decent human being but that was the one time I never no called no showed because like literally it's a fucking processing plant fuck you I don't give a fuck about your processing plant I don't care about mm -hmm. that. Like, I don't care about you, your feelings, your corporation's feelings. Like, I don't care. So, yeah, okay. no call, no show. I got a different job. Fuck you. And that's why I don't work for corporations. I'm. That's the only corporation of, or not corporation. I don't know if you could call. It. I mean, is it a corporation? Yeah, I mean, like a big business. That's the only. Cor if if so, that's the only corporation I've ever worked for. Yeah. And so I've never worked for a corporation. I've only ever worked for people. And like, like in indie mom and pop comps. Yeah, that's, I've never worked a corporate job other than that job. I I don't think. Starting Well, start I worked at a Dollar General. When, that was one of my first jobs and fuck that. That was weird. Yeah. Uh, it's way better being a LSD dealer for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, that was my thought at the time too, honestly. It was uh. like, damn, I'm actually like the pace comparable <laughs> at the time i was like working super part-time it would have been my like I, and then i started doing something else so i don't know <laughs> grooming dogs yeah yeah 
pretty much. What well, was, uh, and I like I had fucking worked in kitchens too. But so are you? So uh, you're going back to Europe here soon? If it goes right, I'll be in uh, Oslo and on Halloween. Oslo. So you guys are going to Norway? If if it goes right. Okay, because I thought I saw Germany. It is. Yes, yeah, okay. Germany, Belgium, um, Holland, and. Um, uh, Oslo, Norway. Well, if, if hopefully so, if it goes, are you gonna go to Hank's grave? Uh, that would be great. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, that would be great. Like seriously, that's a like really big. Fuck yeah, super big loss. Just, I mean, I feel like it didn't really get covered the way it should have well, been. Well, he, he Hank from Hell is one of the. He's like a if. And like an underground phenomenon. Like if you know him, he's like then Barney. he's your hero. To me, he's like Barney. He's Barney. Yeah, he's like Barney to me. It's like yeah. he goes hand in hand with this idea of just like expressionalism yeah. and, and, and the realness, you know, like posing naked on the back of your jacket, like putting it all out there, like a poster insert inside of your record. Yeah, I mean. Co- like cock out. Like he is... I don't know. He's like a. It makes sense that why they would pick him to do the European run of uh, Jesus Christ Superstar. It's like he is already Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> yeah. He is already that. Yeah. Like it's just him filling his natural. I mean, he, he was larger than life. He was obviously like a inspiration on us for sure. Like his that, vulner- that band. vulnerability, also his his ability to express vulnerability, and also like a lot of the Turbo Negro lyrics are about insecurity. Like Denim Demon is talking about like basically being made fun of and being put down, and 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 coming back for vengeance, like being yeah. being this person that people don't like. Yeah, they think you're a fucking whack fucking. Uh, in the South, we call them fucking uh, scrubs. Scrub. Like being a scrub, you know? Fucking we don't want no scrubs. We, uh, you missed the uh, Halloween show where we all dressed like Turbo Negro. That's awesome. I was... Uh, Eric, 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 Eric and Arky would be like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Eric Wharton was Euro, Euro Boy. I was he? Hank. And then Drew was... Uh, uh, happy Tom. I could I could have worn a bald cap and been Chris Summers. Yeah, <laughs> you know they say he's a he was an adult actor. Speaking of porn, <laughs> they say that uh, Chris Summers is the drummer of. I think it's a myth that they built up around the band, but I'd love to cross reference and see if you'd I, love to look up his porno I, and he, watch him fuck. I think he has done porn. Well, what's that at the beginning of the Turbo Negro album where it's like it's I think it's their first album where it's like. I am a little Swedish girl, and he had such a big cock. Oh, she's you, oh you know no, what I'm she's, talking about? she's the German girl talk, or she's the girl talk. It's, yeah, she's the girl talking about going to Germany and meeting a black man. Yeah, for the first time, yeah, and she's like, "Oh, I'm not going to hurt you." Oh, and like, <laughs> and also like, and also, do you just, know what we're talking about, friend? No, I have no you fucking idea. Fucking, Turbo oh, Negro. Turbo Negro's great. No, and they're a uh, like a punk, like a punk band from, but really heavy, heavy, and they're from Norway. Uh, Bergen from Bergen Blaschfack. This is a song about Norwegian girl or er, Norwegian boys going out with punk rock girls. I, I can and pull Bergen, that. I can pull that. Yeah, all they, my friends are dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah but they kind of had like a uh, style, like uh, uh, it's death punk. It's like fucking death punk. But they had a style like that, like image. Their image was almost kind of like you can pull up an image. Yeah, of that's what I'm doing. Uh, they kind of look like. G- gay pirates. They were like gay. They just, were like gay sailors. Yeah. Okay. Kiss had an army, but we had yeah. a navy. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But they, uh, <laughs> uh, the the keyboards player's name is Pol Pot, like the the communist dictator from the Khmer Rouge. Okay. Um. Uh, and then there's Euro Boy, who's the gay cowboy. He's the lead guitar player. Um, Chris Summers, which he's the only one with a normal name. Everybody else has like a weird name. Happy Tom is the s- sailor bass player. I can't remember the name of their lead gu- or their rhythm guitar player. Um, yeah, he's the one that looked like Ryan Dunn though. Yeah, and, uh, is- that's Turbo Negro right there. Okay. Uh, so they yeah they were kind of like gay sailors, but they were like punk, but they kind of were like rock and roll. They had like dope ass leads, like. They're just a fucking sick band. I mean, you remember Wild st- Boys? They were all yeah, over. Yeah. yeah. 
They did you the know theme the to Wild. Of Wild Boys. That's Turbo Negro. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 and their songs are all over Jackass and and yeah. whoa, People whoa, the Bam and whoa. all that shit. Yep, yep, that's them. Whoa, I mean, whoa. I, I mean, what I, I my favorite album by them is Never Is Forever, which is like it's kind of like a pop punk record. It's a '94 record. Yeah. I mean, th- I don't think they really get as much no. notoriety for being really influential. They were su- super good. The riffs are good, and it was, and you got to think in. 94. I think we found their tism. Black metal was mm-hmm. blossoming. Yeah. And this was well, not obscure that. Obscure Norwegian bands. And this was not yeah. that. And I mean, that was a huge cultural phenomenon around the world. People I really don't think understand. Black metal was maybe one of the biggest cultural movements to ever happen in rock and roll history. And even though I don't really place it in rock and roll because it's not really. It is rock and roll to a certain extent, but it's really not. I mean, and you got to think, 94, like, that's what a lot of people were into and caring about. And then there was fucking these guys running around talking about being fucked in the butt in, like, every song. Yeah. And doing, hey, and doing, and doing dope. How do, you, how do you do with uh, Spicy? I like Spicy, all right, but I don't want to do that right now because I haven't eaten enough today. I'm good on that. Uh, I can't. No. No, I, I seriously can't. I It will hurt my stomach. <laughs> like even just like a drop of it? Dave's gone soft. There you go. Dave used to be hardcore. I, I think I'm going to pass on it, y'all. Uh, I mean, I'll take the tiniest little bit. This is on, on footy. Here, you can give yourself as much as you want. Like tiny. <laughs> I was about to debunk. I'm good on that, man. Fuck. <laughs> on I've that. watched enough fucking hot ones. <laughs> Not a fucking dumbass. I've watched enough hot ones. Uh. Seriously, I haven't eaten enough today. I would fucking be sick. I don't want to fucking get sick on y'all's carpet. Yeah. I'm uh. <laughs> Even though I think worse things have transpired on it. On this carpet? Circle jerks and post, post-production activities. Ah! Uh. Uh, not on this carpet. So who are you going <laughs> to Europe with? Purification. Purification. Yeah. And um, what what kind of music would you say Purification is? Well, recently the new uh, phrase has been uh, Gegendum, uh, which probably is a poor German pronunciation of, of anti-doom is what it means. Uh, but... Before that, a tag we used was uh, Dream Killing, Do Metal, which is, uh, I think, accurate to to kind of like the lyrical aesthetic. I, I would kind of like say we're more like a band like Typo Negative, where it's like they, they didn't really fit into like one box. We're kind of maybe parallel in the sense that we don't really have um, a particular take we're not like trying to make like doom metal or stoner metal like at all we're just making dark slow heavy yeah melodic melodic metal with singing with singing like with real an actual singer you know which is cool that's the main thing is like if you don't have a real singer to me you're not really a doom metal band you have to have a singer like a singer who's singing not just like Incoherently, kind of shouting or yelling out like key tones, yeah. <sighs> like it's just, it's just to me, that's not doom metal. It's got to be singing. It's got to have a singer for it to be doom metal, in my opinion. But I don't know. I mean, otherwise, it's sludge. Which yeah, is yeah. fine. Which is fine. I love that shit too. So that's fine. But but it's got to have singing. And then what about your other group? Or yeah, Magdalene. What was what would Magdalene be? We, that's even a harder question to answer. You know, I mean, we've moved kind of away from like the blackened, blackened hardcore thing on this new record that we're actually about to put out. And I feel like fuck it, now is the best time to say it. We're gonna put it out on a record label out of Seattle called Modern Grievance, who they're really cool. They're like super involved in the Seattle kind of grindcore and. And just kind of the heavy music scene in general. And um, I don't know. I would say, I mean, it's impossible really to say what, like, Magdalene is. If you like hardcore, you could be into us. If you like black metal. I mean, it's heavier than most contemporary death metal, in my opinion. 
um, I feel like death metal and extreme metal in general isn't actually very heavy anymore because it's like all... It sounds like he's dying. It's just all very fucking contemporary boring riffs. Like it's like worship. It's become worship music just like heavy metal in general has become like a worship worship genre where no one's really pushing the boundary on like what it can be. Kind of like how I feel like you guys and always have pushed punk. Yeah. To not just be this one kind of boring. Well, not be a sound that was a sound of a 20 sound, years ago. Of a sound, yeah. of a sound, of yeah. a sound with maybe you could imitate whatever till hell and back. Yeah. Which, you know, you guys don't do that. And I don't think metal should do that. And you always want to progress what you're doing, like the, the genre. Point? What's the point in doing something? I mean, I'm in a speed metal band. And even they're at the point where they're like, you know what? This next record, we're not gonna do that. Like they, even they are at that point, and they're like traditional metalheads. They're like, we don't really want. We like other stuff. We don't really want to do that again. No. I think a lot of people come to that understanding eventually. It's like, what's the point? You know, like why? I don't know. So I don't fucking know. I mean, Magdalene is Magdalene is Magdalene. I don't know any other way to say. Have you guys gone on tour yet? Um, we've come close once and for good reasons tur turned it down. We want to, um, the thing is, is we want to get this album out and we want to put out other material before that even comes out. So, and because Yule's also in purification and also in other bands, we've decided that it's just going to have to be one of those things when like the time is right and there's actually an offer on the table. Yeah. Yeah. To, I mean, but that's it, obviously that comes with putting a record out. Right. And it actually being somewhat circulated and being played on like, so it will take us actually going out to places like Denver. Uh, it will take us actually going because we haven't done that yet. I mean, we've been a band since like 2020 um, and you know, well, before then, actually, 2019 or so. I mean, shortly after the G dissolved, we've, yeah, we've been, yeah, which I just think, uh, like, I, like, Magdalene is kind of just the uh, evolution of theory G, like, it's kind of it because I mean, it's like you and Yule, it's like your vision, you it know? is, yeah, it is. It was, uh, I mean, yeah, I think so, I, but I think we also <laughs> we got a lot fucking i mean if you want to experience like what a unpleasant fucking like i mean i don't know if you want to experience like what an unpleasant trip feels like listen to a magdalene song it's like but melodic <laughs> but melodic <laughs> but melodic not know? really a selling point for <laughs> it's like beauty and the beast it's kind of scary but it, it's it's colorful and which beautiful. is why when he told me the name which it's like you know band names are such a hard thing y'all all know this like band names are such a hard thing like is it gonna be something meaningful which is why like anybody watching this in the future i would put this video out for them to see why i will always stick by the name magdalene why i like it is because if you look at it from the bi biblical perspective of what magdalene is is magdalene uh, from a, pr a pope's standpoint i forget the pope's or whomever it was they, they there's it's a whole myth about magdalene being a prostitute and all that it was from um a preaching on this a uh, significant figure in the catholic church that all this shit comes from about her being a um a fucking essentially being a demon possessed prostitute but she was demon possessed and that is in the bible mm -hmm. so the way we look at each track is we look at each track as like an exorcism of a feeling and this is something that i'll now keep in mind this is a meaning and significance that i've put into the band because the band is very negative and it is it's melodic but it's it is evil in its essence it is it is all the negative feelings it's not the good feelings it, that band could never be about that. So it is very serious because it is actually about that. It's negative. It's a negative yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. It's not for fun. It's not fun. It will never be fun. It, we, it, the band could never be that. That being said, <laughs> there's a heaviness that comes with that, and it's serious. I mean, it's negative. And, I mean, there will be moments of, like, 
you know, also good feelings. Because you can't feel all bad things without also feeling beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like Hellraiser. It's like Clive Barker has this great way of, like, talking about something so horrific and so terrible, but making it sound beautiful. Yeah. Making it sound appealing or alluring, if you will, which is what Hellraiser is all about. It's kind of about this, like, allure into... Pandora's box, mm -hmm. but it will tear you apart along the way. And that is to me like What our music is about. Yeah, but it's also is it is Has good things in it, too, but it's like a horror movie. It always ends badly Gotcha like I mean it's kind of like the uh, the project that we do with um, me, me and Marty do the death of you which we haven't recorded anything with that yet, but I mean, it's, you know, about loss and the, the, the inner psyche of the, you know, what, what comes with that and all the waves and the motions. It and can't the feelings all be about drinking beer and no, having fun. We're not Attila. <laughs> it can't be about that. <laughs> we will never be Attila. Like pineapple on pizza? Fuck no. Like, we're not doing that. Hey, Charles. What? Close your eyes real quick. <coughs> Close your eyes. Can you imagine what David's butthole looks like? Yeah. So I've seen David's butthole on a giant uh, screen. Are you it, looking at it on the inside of your eyelids right now? <laughs> yeah, like it's like... It's, it's like, like puckering out at it's you. It's essentially like, my eyelids. <laughs> it pretty much <laughs> is his eyelids. But, uh, but n not quite as tight. Uh, no, we were <laughs> editing. I was with Garnet editing music video once, and uh, we were going through all the footage. And we were—it was almost like this, like this TV screen you see up here that we can only see. But uh, we're like editing footage and putting it up there, and we, we were in the—we uh, were in a pool swimming, and David grabbed the GoPro. <laughs> He like looks at it. He like kisses it, and then you just see him like put it right on his asshole. And just imagine David's asshole the size <laughs> of that screen, like his milk bed. So like a fifty inch TV, just a and fucking. It was so perfectly shaved too. It was bigger, right? Because it was a fucking projector screen. Oh. Yeah, so it was like a whole wall, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty nasty. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, even I, even I, kind of seeing it was like, wow, that's me up close, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you don't oh. think about these things when you do them. You're just like, man, it'd be great to just put this camera in my butthole. Well, it's always there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really thought about that one. Uh, uh, oh man, I'll start. <laughs> I miss Garnet, man. Fuck, I miss Garnet. I've I've seen Garnet a couple times. I know you'll seen him since I've seen yeah. him. Yeah, I, I need to see him. I I miss that dude. Oh, you guys got to get your yo passies. I have it. Yeah. Oh, you do have your passport. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been to Germany. Yeah. Now. Fuck, dude. It's not, it, dude, it's six hour drive from here. Yeah, I know. I you can be up there super quick. I know. Like, I it's. You needed a ride in here, and it was a 15 minute drive. It's a quicker <laughs> drive <laughs> from, uh, it's a quicker drive to get to Vancouver than it is to get to, like, San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. No, totally. It's like driving to Medford. No, totally. It's just right there, and then it's a fucking rad Speaking town. of California, why don't you guys go down there more? You really need to. I mean, we went there last year. Uh, you need to go again. It's just, ugh, we're broke. You know, you've no, know, no. you know the MFA yeah. story, man. Like, it's, we've always been yeah. no, deprived. It's a, either way, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an expensive endeavor to do it, just period. And when we went last year, it was like, right as gas was at its Fucking peak. Like what it's you guys high gotta, now. What you guys got to do is you got to look. What you got to do is you got to get a small van. Yeah. But what I, you need to do is you need to install seats into it. And what you need to do is you need when you book. Bring maybe bring the drum kit and and bring heads, of course, but just do cab shares. Yeah. And you just have to do it that way. There's yeah. no other way. And then you can rent something smaller. And it'll cost you way less way gas. Less I mean, gas. I brought a band over from Portugal. That's what we did. But, you know, I brought the shells. Um, and I, I, we toured in a Nissan NV200, which is a very small van that doesn't even have back seats installed in it. And uh, we did it that way. Yeah. And, and I mean, you're driving in a four-cylinder van. Yeah. So it, it, it helped. I mean, for sure. Um, you have to t micro tour. We could do that. You have to sure. micro tour. On this one, though, it was us and GFL. So there yeah, was you two needed, bands. Yeah, you needed a room. We, yeah. So we were up in there. Um, 
but yeah, no, it was right as gas like was so expensive, and like we head out to San Francisco, we st- stop. I think we gassed up somewhere like near Medford, and then just we're we're like running late for the first show, as per usual, and we're like almost running out of gas. And we're like going over the uh, Bay Bridge. And I'm like, we'll just get gas right by the venue, and then no gas station. Well, there was. Where'd it was at the, it was, it was at the the winners where we played there before. Oh, in Pacifica. Yeah, we pull up there, we play the show, and then go to the first gas station, and it was like seven fifty a gallon. Yeah, it's so <laughs> it expensive. was like, oh my god. We got in trouble for playing that place when I booked Wander. I'm like, this is a band from Portugal. They don't have any local draw, anyways. What you worried about? Like us playing P- Pacifica and playing SF. Yeah. It's like it's a band from fucking Portugal. They've never even been yeah. in the US. But we did that, and then we did uh, San, San uh, Cruz. That. Santa Cruz is great. Did you play at the... Um, the, Blue, the Blue Orchard? Or okay, the... so we played at the venue. <laughs> it was a big room. The room next yeah. to the, the... I tried to get them there. It was booked out <laughs> yeah. like fucking six months in advance. I got them in the big room, that uh, atrium, the atrium, or whatever the fuck they call it. It was a big room, and I was really thinking, I was nervous. I was so nervous because it was like, this is us like in the middle of the tour. And like, look, I brought these guys over from Portugal. I don't want to make a, make a dick of myself. And I was so worried about that show. It was the biggest show we played, and it was a big room. And fucking, we played, they played with this band, this death metal band that were all younger dudes. And I was so surprised. We booked it. Thank God that that show happened to fall on a Friday because everyone... Everyone in Santa Cruz brought their kids to that show Yeah, because it was an all-ages show because they could offer all-ages shows and every I swear to God I think almost every single kid in Santa Cruz was at that show to watch these Portuguese Portuguese guys throw down some fucking like blistering heavy metal it was yeah. so dope and they had never <laughs> even seen any shit like that before yeah it was dope we played the Blue Lagoon and then I think at that venue we the, danced there after the show the same venue uh, that you're talking about, TSOL was there that night, and so we're playing a smaller local punk show down the street. I think fucking I think the guys that played that night, like the other bands, couldn't believe they were playing there. And then, of course, I had to break the news at the end of the night that I didn't have much to pay them with. It was crazy how many people expected me to pay them, like which is like I'm always about paying bands. I always pay bands, but like it's like these guys are from Portugal, like. I did express that to you initially when asking you to play this bill. It's like, dude, can you imagine playing with a band from Beijing and you being like, oh, I know there was only like a hundred, like 60 people here tonight. No, we want our cut. A band, if you were playing with a band from Beijing, yeah, you, what would you do? Give them our cut probably. Especially for a I mean, local. We've given it, bands the cut bl- if they came it, from It blew Seattle. my mind, the bands in California that were just like, like I, I won't say any names. I had this band that was a notor- notable heavy metal band, a contemporary within their act too. I didn't even really want them to play with us in San Diego. Played with them in San Diego. They didn't really bring anybody. I was like, okay, well they're not from San Diego. They didn't even stick around to get paid. I was like, okay, I messaged them. I was like, hey, I'll pay you tomorrow since you're playing with us tomorrow. Played with them in their hometown of L.A. and really there was still nobody really there. Um, and the dude was all like on the stage, like, Wander coming all the way out from Portugal, Spain. Said that on a mic. Dude, like, you got to hit New Mex, bro. New Mex shows pop. Portugal, we've, Spain. We've Can done... you imagine saying that on stage? Mm-hmm. And I could tell a lot Portugal, of Portugal, Spain. And anyways. Portugal, but, Spain. But anyways. Portugal or Spain. But anyways, <laughs> I mean, and I did, but because they kept running off on me and also just because of shit, you know. I, I never got to pay them, and then I told them, I was like, look, I'm going to wind up having to pay you late, but I'm going to pay you. And I paid them extra. I did pay them extra. I yeah. always make good on my word. And uh, But it was just a nightmare. And it's just like, you really expect that after two dead shows? Not dead. They weren't dead. They weren't dead. They won't, won't call them dead shows, but it's just like, dude, if this was, place was popping and oversold, then I would expect that kind of attitude from you. Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of funny, like, because I've played here in Portland for the forever like i mean i i my the only show that I've ever played at it i mean like has been in washington and um like after um after that i mean i've always always played here and i never expected anything 
Like, I mean, I was like, I was always like, I get to fucking play music. That's fucking tight. No, that's not a good you know? perspective to have, though, especially when you're good. Yeah, but I mean, it was less of but like. But you shouldn't be arrogant either. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was less of like. I mean, it was more so like, cool. I get, I get, I get. You know, I'm gonna get paid for the show. I'm just gonna recycle it and immediately put it into shirts or stickers or whatever. But it was, it was more so like I, I. There was only one time where I had a band like that where they were like, we don't fucking pay you much, and I was like, dude, like fucking. I don't know. What to, nobody knows you. I'm already uh, heads or tails. Um, heads always heads. Okay, bottle cap. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode of the Doc. Thank you so much to David and uh, there's a Troy, not Tony. Tony, Tony. Excuse me, other other T, the other T guy. That, that was I'm a little bit fucked. I'm kind of fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Tony that came on. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, please sure you know be sure to like, share, subscribe. Right, it's on your your listening app. Um, if you're on Apple, rate five stars and then just put like Zaddy or whatever you want into the fucking, you know, <laughs> whatever you want. Oh, fuck, I'm gushing. If you want to follow I'm us, you can follow us. Coming. On I'm God. Gushing. Find my pussy. What he said. <laughs> if you want to follow us, go ahead and follow us at the. I almost said, almost said a completely different podcast. You can follow us at the doc.com pod on um, TikTok. You can follow us on the Doc Comedy Podcast on YouTube. You can follow the, the Comedy Chaos Network on, on in, oh, sorry, on YouTube, and, or not YouTube, Instagram and Instagram. I'm a little bit fucked up. Um, <laughs> if you want to follow me directly, yeah, because I'm not used to this for HDO Podcast, this. and you, HDO, I'm fucking sober, which is insane. Um, we can change that. And, on, on God. But <laughs> if you want to follow me directly, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at I Hunt the Haunted on Instagram and Twitch, Marty, and I'll and I'll be back for the fucking uh, UFO special. Oh, yeah, yeah. On God, you can follow me um, on Instagram at Ghetto Feather and David. What's your? Nah, dude, I'm not giving out my IG. Fuck we'll that. We'll give out your band's IG. Yeah, your band's oh. IG. That's uh, why you did this. Magdalene PDX, baby. Purification. Uh, what is our fucking handle? Purification Doom. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> Hell yeah! And follow David at Def Ritual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I recently changed it too. Uh, yeah, and then follow me at fucking bears at Charlie Haggard, and then follow. He's pointing at it. <laughs> all th- all three of our band. Uh, don't follow any of our bands. Yeah, don't f- the fuck our band. Fucking guys. And like like every week, I don't I don't have any sort of call out like I do for Hans Graves and Open Twice. So stay spooky, stay haunted, and then I do a fun bit. Uh, so let's dock. Let's dock. Let's dock. You want to dock? David, David, get in here. You gotta, you, go gotta gotta go oh, end, no, you gotta go on both ends. Oh no, actually no, that's a good frame. That's a good frame, David. Yeah, David, get in there. See if you can dock with Charlie. There you go. We're docking. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking coming down. Ah!